Howard, hey now. Hey now. Hey, um, you going to have them uh, two people in today or on the phone? Then? I got to get that porn star. I'm so furious with her. Well, oh, what happened? Yeah, what, what was the deal with that? Hey, I got Kevin on here. Listen in, Brian, okay? All right, man. All right. Hey, Kevin, this is the winner from Schwinctionary yesterday. He went on the date with uh, the porn star, Lexis. Lexi. Something. Lexi Bardot. Is Lexi Bardot around? No, of course not. You know why? Because yeah. she fucking, she totally chose this guy, Kevin. She hustled us. She hustled she did. us. Mm. Hey, Kev. Hey, how what's up, man? So Kevin was a virgin. He won Schwinctionary. And, you know, like, I can't force some chick to fuck Kevin. But, right. But she kind of said, you know, I'm a porn star and I'm going to fuck this guy. So, yeah, I just want to say one thing, right? Yeah. I'm, like, I'm really fucking pissed, but, hey, I appreciate you guys trying to help me. I'm not mad at you guys. I know you guys did everything you can. But, I mean, I, it got to the point where, I mean, th- you want to know what happened? I'll sum it up real quick. Yeah. I got in, okay, and she didn't want sound in there. I said it was okay. Right. So as soon as they leave, she goes, you know, I can't have sex with you. And then right there, I'm like, oh, my fucking God, uh... not again. Yeah, you know, here's a girl. <laughs> Can I say something, Kevin? Yeah. Here's yeah. a girl, and I was going to get her on the phone today and yell at her. That's why she didn't call in. Yeah, here's I Here's a girl who drinks urine. Jesus and she can't have that. yeah yeah she <laughs> drinks urine and she can't have sex with you I mean and you know what okay so let's say she didn't want to have full blown intercourse with you she's a porn star she kind of put it out there that she'd be wild with you so you know walk in take off your clothes give Kevin a lap dance maybe rub his dick a little bit or something like that you know what I mean well I asked for well, a blowjob I asked for a lap dance. She told me to whoop it out. She wouldn't even touch it. She told me she would uh, touch it a few times. I go, well, can you at least jerk me off and finish me? No, nothing. Man. So I go in the bathroom, and I go, I'm go, I'll just get it up myself and uh, try to get just about done so when she touches it a few times, I'll be done. And then I come out after about a minute or a half, and she's like, let's just drink beer. I'm like, I don't know, 246 wow. days clean, no alcohol. I'm like, maybe that's not a good idea. She's like, oh, here, have a beer. We'll go out and hang out. I'm like, dude, I don't want to hang out with this fucking bitch. Right. Now she's trying to get you to fall off the wagon. Right, she's yeah. trying to break his sobriety. Uh, good move. 246 days. That's the hardest shit I ever And what happened? Did you drink the beer? Yeah, I drank the oh, beer. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, man. I, I thought, dude, Howard, shit. I was so nervous to begin with, and now I just feel like the biggest fucking douchebag that this whore oh, oh, has sex with me. So well, I was like, dude, I'll just drink the goddamn beer. I'm stressed. You know, I was nervous to begin with. Well, then that's different. <laughs> No, but I'm sorry you went off your sobriety, but here's the deal. You know, this chick, you know, she's supposed to be so wild, and she knew the deal. She knew the score. You know, right. she she wanted yeah. the plugs and everything. We treated her like, you know, we treated her nice. Gave her a lot of plugs. She gave the most fake Sibian ride we have ever seen yeah. over here. Terrible. Oh, my God, I love this thing. <laughs> Hello? And, like, she totally fucking, you know, just kind of used us for the plugs. And, you know, we were being nice to her and all that. Because, hey, you know, it's pretty cool that a chick would you know, give herself to Kevin as a prize. But, I mean, she got in there. She wasn't even, like, helping him. Like, at least get naked. And just, she, He walks in and she says to She's him. She's a nun. I'm not getting <laughs> naked. I'm not showing what? you anything. I'm not touching the you. The porn star became a nun. Yeah, I mean, she he could. not let me lay on her bed and get comfortable. I'm she wouldn't let him lay on the bed. She wouldn't let him lay on the fucking so bed. So she treated him really like crap. Look, yeah, she treated all, him like ha- crap. She didn't do the right thing. And in all fairness, Kevin, much like me, is look very repulsive. <laughs> but no, but he's not. That, you know what? Drinking she ain't, urine. Not true. By the way, urine. she ain't no beauty queen either. And you know, even the listeners said, no wonder the guy couldn't get it up. You were supposed to get him a porn star, not a crack whore. You couldn't drink that bitch cute. Well, well I yeah, I mean, you were very complimentary to her. Yeah, and and I'm not going to go. Yeah, first of all, she's not a crack whore, but. Secondly, I'm going to, although maybe, I don't know if she is or isn't, but the fact of the matter is, uh, the fact is that, you know, we were complimentary to her. We treated her with respect. She wasn't the best looking girl who ever no, came up No, she here. wasn't the best, but she had a good body. I'll give her that. She hey, did. I was happy just to, like, hopefully to lose it. I wasn't complaining, you know? Here's another guy who says, I just saw that skanky hag on the website. I wouldn't <laughs> fuck her. And here's an, with Artie's dick, he says, I can't believe you guys would offer up that big nose cunt as a prize for such Ooh. a funny contest. What a bunch of horse shit. I, I'll tell you what, I'm just encouraging my audience not to buy <laughs> our video. Bullshitter. She was really a bullshitter. You know what, Kev? Are you a local guy? <laughs> 
Uh, Tom's River by Seaside. Oh, perfect. Dude, I'm going to get you laid. Come to my gig at the Borgata March 30th. There you go. I'm, 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 I'm trying to get uh, get there. How no, you, 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 don't worry about it. it, it He's he, got you covered. Artie's covering you. Oh, I love you, Artie. You I, are my... I, I'm going to be Artie in 20 years. I'm telling you. No, no, no. Oh, Artie's, my God. You're, you're, not, you're, not re- you're not reading me too. Artie's going to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to no, no, no. blow you at the very least. <laughs> oh, that's, there was one more thing I didn't tell you. That's not true. <laughs> what? Um, she also, um, right after, uh, uh, the, uh, who was the guy, Greg, the camera guy, right before he came in, she wanted me to lie and say we done it. And I'm like, oh, and I got on the phone with you, and I just didn't know what to do. I was Good like, for you. I call her out right in front of you? Yeah, you should have. I felt so embarrassed in front of her. And then I was like, I can't fucking lie to Howard. I'm, I, like, I'm not going to lie to the fans. And everything. Well, I'm not going to lie for her, you know? Well, she was supposed to call in this morning, and she didn't. Which, of course, she's absent without yeah. me. And I really do I really do think she kind of misled everyone. And I'm not saying, look, okay, maybe she had second thoughts about banging you, but she could have been nice. She could have said that right here. Yeah. Why I mean, take him over there and get him drunk. The guy's trying to stay sober. Yeah, yeah, the one that, thing he's trying to do, she well, takes away well, from she, and, and I mean, she drank piss. Okay? The only thing I'm doing good at. <laughs> well, listen. Did it lead to anything? You didn't, like, fall off the wagon big time, did no, you? No, I, I put, after one beer, I was like, no, nah, no more. I'm like, oh, good. good. I love it. for you. Kevin goes, the one thing I'm good at, I fucked up <laughs> on the stupid day. I know, that's what I'm saying. Doing good. No more PCP, not nothing. No, you I mean, were smoking angel dust? Oh, oh. Jesus, Artie, I loved it for a while. When I was 15, oh, dude, oh, Jesus, Jesus. I, I, dr- I had dreams about it. Did you do anything crazy on Angel Dust? Because like, there are guys who cut their own dicks off when right. they're on Angel Dust. No, not that crazy. I just remember once I got really high off it. I couldn't feel my legs. And me and my friend got in the car and, like, idiots, which is not cool, we just... Uh, didn't even notice. We were just flooring it through red lights for like an hour. <laughs> oh, my you God. Know, you don't know what you're doing on that. That shit's dangerous, man. I've seen like guys, like, the, the cops try to subdue them on PCP, oh, yeah. and they don't feel anything. You could break their bones, and they don't feel right. it. Right. They're getting the crap beat out of them. Mm-hmm. They don't even feel it. Surprised Artie's never done that. I, uh, I have never, uh, to my knowledge, smoked angel dust. I had a couple of buddies in high school who were way into it. Like, that's all they smoked exclusively. Wow. And it, it's scary shit, man. It, it's embalming for Fluid, I believe it, it is. It embalms your body, but um, look, dude, come to uh, come to the Borgata March 30th. You can bring a friend, and we'll, we'll rock guy, and roll. Should this guy get in touch with you? Let me put him on hold. Yeah, we got your time. information, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll get in touch with you. All right, don't uh, burn him though. I mean, I ain't gonna more. burn him. He's been burned enough, Artie. There's always I say one more thing. There's always some broads hanging around, so we'll roll the dice. <laughs> Thank you, Artie. You're the greatest. I Can love you tell you. them that he's a professional comedian about to get his own show on HBO <laughs> so that he gets laid? That's the line I use. All right. I mean, Joining seriously. the cast of Entourage. Yeah, well, look, I can't guarantee anything, but we'll do whatever we can. I don't know. Bring him around with you. You know, and treat, say he's your brother, even. Yeah, no, we'll... Fuck- these bitches like that. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll hey, look, at, by the end of the night, if we got to pay for it, the money comes out of my pocket. How's that sound? Artie, I love you, man. <laughs> All right, well, Artie, you're a good man. You. Artie's a good-hearted dude. He's a good guy. I mean, you know, we're both the same, except Artie's uh, loved by everybody. I'm... I think I'm hated by every well, no. girl. And you know what else, man? If I ever do have a bachelor party, let's have this guy. He's yeah, a good dude. Of course. Oh, we should. It's yeah. like a dream come true, Howard. I've well, we feel bad. Years. You know, it's Howard's reputation on the line. Yeah, yeah. Howard said he was going to do something, We're and not, he not, didn't not get not it done. Dad, his chick, she shamed me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Johnny, you know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I mean, you know. I don't know what happened to her. Maybe she got cold feet. I don't know. Maybe she never intended to do it. I mean, it sounded like she never no, intended to do no, it, and she wanted to just sort get of get the plugs, get the plugs, and and get out of here. Maybe yeah. she got cold feet. Maybe all of a sudden she regained her vision. A million <laughs> things could have happened. Well, you know, oh, Artie is the president girl. of the Make a Pussy Wish Foundation, and <laughs> <laughs> we're going to see if we can make this happen. Look, you know me, man. When when regular chicks don't work out, and that's most of the time, I am not ashamed to go to the hua. <laughs> and uh, Atlantic City is known to have a few, as long as you don't mind, you know. Well, boys, remember it is illegal, so yes. try not to. That's right. No, it is try illegal. Try not to break the law. Yeah, right. try, you know, try to get a legitimate law. vagina. Yeah. All right. Three felonies. As I'm if there's such the a law, thing. Man. Sorry, Kevin, what'd you say? I have three felonies. I'm not breaking no laws. You know what I mean? Right. No I one's going to know anything. Yeah. Kevin, you just don't look like a guy with three felonies. <laughs> All I know is poor Kevin will go with Artie, he'll get laid, and the next thing you know, he's in prison for five to ten. <laughs> Now there's a good, there's a TV movie. They lock him up and throw away the key. Yeah. Stay away from the whores. Yeah. All right. Oh, good job, Kevin. Yeah. Um, Stern Fan Network, I was uh, dreaded to look at it because they were the nastiest people, but they were really cool to me. It was about like 
eighty percent on my side, zero percent on her side, and the other twenty, the other twenty just said I should be in the whack pack. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, we like you. As a matter of fact, I was talking to the guys yesterday. We got to use Kevin for something. There's something likable about him. And- <laughs> you know, maybe you know, we were talking the other day about uh, how we don't have anybody to cover events here and ask questions. Yeah, maybe Kevin's our guy. Oh, nah. Robin. Oh, Actually, Robin, you don't get carried away. Oh, dear. <laughs> we got that worked out, Howard. We do? Who's we're, doing it? We're sending out, uh, very soon, we're sending out High Pitch Mike. Oh, <laughs> good. Okay. He's good. All right, Kevin. Thanks, and um, hold on, and we'll, I don't know what we'll do, but Artie's going to get in touch with you. I'll get in touch with you. All right. Serious uh, Satellite Radio, the best, Howard. I record every show on cassette. Thanks, I know Kev. I'm a sicko. I'm on cassette. cassette. I love it. Thanks, Kev. Thanks, Howard. Bye, We're guys. still recording things on cassette. Kevin is. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up Kevin, Gary, and talk to him. Okay. Thank you. Lisa G is here. Let, let her come in and do her thing, and then I'll talk to the founder of VoteForTheWorst.com. His name is Dave. This guy's on to something. I like his style, and he's absolutely right on with his Sanjaya uh, movement. Hello. Hi, Lisa. What do you got for us in the Howard 100 Newsroom? Howard Stern, there is a war going on. Okay. I'm wearing my camouflage today. It's I between. Know. Oh, yes. you, know about, you heard about it? Yeah, Iraq you're talking about, right? No, in the newsroom. What do you mean? What's going on? In the newsroom. This is bigger than Iraq. Between the newsroom and backstage at the Stern Show, it's between Will and Jason, editors Mm -hmm. of Page 69, the gossip column here at Howard 100, and Howard 100's Steve Langford. Why? What is the beef? All right. So Steve had some uh, things about Page 69 in his news headlines, and he went back to Will and Jason to check the facts. And Steve said, well, I checked in with Sal, and the facts aren't 100% correct. Right. And Will and Jason got upset and t- at Steve saying, look, this is a gossip item. It's about Sal. You shouldn't go to Sal and check the item. Right. You're ruining the surprise of it and what page 69 is all about. Right. And Steve, being the news person that he is, said, look, my facts need to be accurate. So I'm not going to do the page 69 item. Can I jump in? The guy's, well, the guy's point is if... If it's going to be an argument or if it's not correct, let that unfold on the air, not in the back office. Uh, I'm confused. Me too. I really don't understand the problem. What was the gossip about him? It's that Sal pulled his pants down in the office, like he was showing off that basketball tattoo on his office. Okay. And a saleswoman was coming by to give a tour. Right. And, like, she saw it and she was, like, trying to freak out, you know, trying to stop the tour. And it would have been a funny conversation to have in here, like, if you were like, Sal, what happened? You know, right, you're an idiot. because he is an idiot. Yeah, but, you know, so Steve went to Sal and says, oh, is this story true? Sal, of course, says no, there's parts of it that aren't true, so he doesn't talk about it on the air that day. And it's like, A, it should be brought up on the air because it's funny to hear you yell at Sal if, if that's what you want to do. He's not. Do you he, care about this argument, Robin? I don't know what they're talking about. I understand what they're talking about, but does anybody care? No, but I'm saying it's I've lost interest. I'm not listening. Yeah, all right. All Go. I'm saying is that there's a lot of items that come up on this show from page 69 that are funny on the air, right? Right. And that he shouldn't be the one editing those out He shouldn't be deciding what's true and what's not true. Steve, what do you have to say about this? Everything we do, we check to see if it's true. That's what we do. It's not a news story. It's a gossip item. uh, Whatever item it is, uh, I go by and I say, listen, is this story true? And in that case, Sal said, well, listen, it's not exact. What what is that noise? What is going on here? It's Robin's boat. Robin's what? Robin's boat. No, I can't. Stop that for a second. What? Went away. What are people doing around here? Making me mental. Trying to get out of this story anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, all right, I, I, I don't care. Goodbye. What do you all do again? I forget. All right. Yeah, all right. Jason, goodbye. Get out of here and go do whatever it is you do. Yeah, who gives a shit? Don't be kidding me with that. Go over there and lose weight. Just be on time with my breakfast, Will. Steve, Jay, Will. Come on, guys. On? Come on, brothers. Let's hug it out. Come on, guys. Yes. Is there These a... two are the best there are. Is there a real problem here? Is there a lot of clashing back here? What's Not going at on? all. I love these guys. Well, no, Steve, that's not factually true, and I can't let you go to the news with that. All right, we've got to be very got factually true with Howard TV. There is something going on here. I love Steve. He's a great man and a great reporter and a good friend of mine here. But Steve is dead wrong on this issue. And for the first time since I've been here, I, I, I felt that Steve didn't understand the show and the nature of the show, and that, that bothered me, and that's where, that's where I'm upset about it. Steve, do you see any validity in their, uh, their claims here? <laughs> well, no, they don't seem to understand. Uh, the problem is... Uh, 
I'm not going to do made up news. Uh, the minute they said to me yesterday, before I went on to do the headlines, this story may not be true, I was like, I didn't say Whoa. this story. I didn't say this story. I didn't say no, the story. Said this, I said stories. there are stories. Yes. May not be true. And I was like, not, oh, we may run this another God, day. We're, no, we're going to have to hold up. Fuck him. I'm so sick of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> All right. What's the matter, dude? He fucking pisses me off. He's like talking to a fucking wall, and it's still a big joke to him. So go fuck yourself, Steve. Go do your news stories and go have fun. Whatever. You don't get the fucking show, so blow me. This is Dave. Dave is the founder of a website called VoteForTheWorst.com. And Dave, I'm intrigued by your latest uh, thing on Vote for the Worst. I've joined your campaign. This is the Vote for Sanjaya movement. Yeah. How many people do you think go on VoteForTheWorst.com, Dave? I don't know. We get about a million hits a day, so we get a, a ton of people on the website. But, you know, it's, it's obvious that we don't know how many people of that are voting. So, I mean, but like I said, we get about a million hits a day. And on, like, show nights, about two, three million hits a day. When did you develop the website VoteForTheWorst.com? Um, it started back during uh, American Idol 3. Right. We, um, I had watched the second season, and I was like, you know, this show is kind of not as good as everyone says it is. And, you know, there's all these terrible people around who would be so much funnier if they would last longer. Right. So, you know, a lot of us got together and said, hey, let's uh, try voting for the bad people and just as a joke and see what happens. And then it kind of grew, and now it's what it is now. I think in Sanjaya you found a lightning rod because... Sanjaya is the type of guy that you'd really, I mean, if he won, it would just be funny as hell. I think in the past, nobody cared that much. I think this is the one. I know I care. I'm encouraging my fans, which we, uh, you know, we have millions of, to vote for Sanjaya. Yeah, because You're, really, he should never have made it through auditions. Dave, what do you think the uh, odds are that Sanjaya will get through this week? Um, it's going to be really tough this week. I think this is going to be the big week because this week is the top 11. The top 10 go on the tour, so they have to tour all summer and make money and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So you know the producers do not want Sanjay on that tour. So it's going to be really tough for him to get through this week. I would love it if he did. So, so let's would hope. I. But it's, it's going to be really tough for him. Does Dave, he think they cook the books sometimes? I'm glad if, you brought that uh, up. If they don't want something to happen that's happening? That really shocks me. Mm. I The reason I liked American Idol is that I thought that it was based solely on the audience vote. Right. Are you afraid that Sanjay, this whole movement, could be disrupted by the producers? Oh, definitely. I mean, this seems to happen every year, too. Vote for the Worst seems to get a lot of press. And then that week, our person goes home. Every single week, every single year. So, you know, we think that, you know, it's too much of a coincidence. But yeah. we would love, I mean, especially like having the backing of you guys. I mean, you have so many, I've, I've gotten so many emails from people who are saying, I listen to Howard Stern, I don't watch American Idol, but I'm going to vote with you guys this week. And I mean, it's been like hundreds of emails. Yeah, tonight so. is the vote. We're all going to be voting. I'm going to be voting. And the, the trick is to keep voting over and over and over again. Now, <laughs> HowardStern.com will have instructions on how to vote for Sanjaya today, too, in an effort to join with the vote for the worst.com. Tell me about a little bit of background of yourself, Dave. How old a guy are you? I'm 24. Okay, and uh, how old were you? You say season three. So, what, you about 20 when you started this thing? Yeah. Okay, and were you in college? Yeah, I was in college when I started. Was this a goof? Like, uh, you never thought it would come to anything, right? Oh, no, definitely not. <laughs> Do you vote for yeah, the worst on any other shows, or is it just American Idol? Uh, we tried doing it on other shows, but it wasn't as fun, just because right. it seems like American Idol's the cheesy, awful show that's more fun to vote for. All the other ones, it was just kind of like, oh, well, who cares? But American Idol, it's fun to kind of mess with. So There is someone who doesn't approve of what you're doing and I'm doing, uh, <laughs> and he wants to speak to you. Let him on the air. Go okay. ahead, sir. Hello. It's Eric the Hello. Midget. Eric the Midget is very much against, and I, and I bet you get a lot of male people who feel you're ruining American Idol, because I'm getting it, too. Oh, yeah, tons of it. I mean, we get so much hate mail, and half the letters are spelled incorrectly or, you know, have terrible grammar, So it's, <laughs> but I get tons of those letters, yeah. Eric the Midget, I'll give you a chance to talk to Dave right now, but you must make it quick and make it loud. What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you so set on ruining Idol? See, we're, I don't think we're ruining Idol. I think what we're doing is making it more entertaining for us. I agree. I mean, if, you, if you want to vote for your favorite contestant or the talented contestant, you can do that. And, you know, if our contestant sticks around an extra week, the person who went home was going to go home the week after anyway. So we're not really, I don't think we're really ruining it. We're just, you know, helping ourselves enjoy the show more. This is making it fun for me. Exactly. I mean, it's, I'm it's interested making... in the show again. Seeing Simon's face when Sanjaya gets voted each time <laughs> is—it's just a fuck you to him. It's great. I mean, he's freaking out. They're all freaking out. Paula starts crying. It's wonderful. 
Exactly. A lot of people say that they couldn't watch the show, like their their wife or their husband or their girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever makes them watch the show, and they hate it. And now, because of Over for the Worst, they can actually be entertained with it. So, I think it definitely, you know, it even brings in more viewers for American House. I don't see why they would hate it. <laughs> Eric, one last response. Go ahead. So, well, even Sanjaya looked like he wanted to go last week. Mm-hmm. When he was walking back to his seat, he had a look on his face like, God, why didn't they get rid of me? I think he's probably guilty that, you know, he's there and he wasn't singing as well. But, I mean, he's just like anyone else on the show. He wants to win. Of course. So, I mean, we're just trying to, everyone says we're crushing dreams, we're running the show. We're trying to help Sanjaya's dreams. Sanjaya wants to be the American Idol, too. Yeah, I like you know? what you're saying. Yeah. You got a girlfriend, Dave? Uh, no. Kidding. Are you a no. troll or are you a good-looking dude? No, actually, I'm gay. <laughs> oh, you're gay? Yeah. You doing any guys? Maybe, maybe that's yeah, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> what is that, uh, Eric? Maybe that's why he likes Sanjaya so much. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. <laughs> Sanjaya, your type, Dave? No, not at all. Uh, I'm not kidding. You're gay, huh? Yeah. Do you uh, have a boyfriend? Yeah. He, he said he did. You have hearing problems? <laughs> all right, Eric. Oh, you're so angry. You making any money with VoteForTheWorst.com? Um, yeah, it's not making a ton of money, but it's making it's making some money on the side. Like it's like a side thing for me, and then mm-hmm. um, most of the money goes back into the site, though, because you know, being such a popular website, it costs a lot to run, and you know, getting all the people that come by and hate the website and write me hate mail, and they're like, "Oh, you must be making tons of money off of this. You must be making," and I'm like, "No, I have to put a lot of money back into it because you spend all day on the website refreshing it because you hate it so much." So. Can you uh, can, can you make ten grand a month at least? Uh, no. No, not that much. No. So you're not going to get bought out by Google or something? No, definitely not. <laughs> I see. So, I, I have one last thing to ask him. Mm-hmm. Now, are you... Are you, are you a bottom you, or a top? <laughs> no. <laughs> you stop, Howard, for a minute. All right. Are you part of the reason why Fantasia beat Diana? Uh, no, we didn't vote for either of them that with that week, so that would have nothing to do with us. Are you a top or a bottom? Um, neither right now. <laughs> What's that mean? I'm not, you know, having sex right now. So why are you? You, said you bo- have a boyfriend. Why are you? No, bo- I do, but we we just started dating, so. Oh. You're not even blowing each other. <laughs> well, maybe, but. <laughs> of course. I mean, why would two guys wait? I don't understand what he's telling us here. I understand women have issues, but if I'm gay and I'm on a date with a dude and he's, he's my boyfriend. He's got a boyfriend, and you claim that's not having sex if you're blowing the guy. Okay, fine. If, if you count that, then yes, we're doing that. But All right, so you're blowing each other. <laughs> yeah. And you're saving yourself for your wedding night. Of course, yes. <laughs> I understand. In other words, anal is something you'll give him if he marries you. Yes, there you go. <laughs> is that true? Hmm? Why not give him anal? Um, I don't know. We haven't done it yet. Are um, you a religious person? No. You're saying you're saying... How long have you been going out with this guy? Uh, three months. And still no anal? No. Wow. I'm shocked to hear this, Dave. <laughs> you don't Times give... they are a change. Have you ever given anyone anal? Yes. Oh, you have? Mm-hmm. What is poor guy? Three months. And, and he's the like... bo- new boyfriend who's <laughs> hanging in there with you can't get it. Does he want anal with you? Probably. Yeah. Well, what's the what's the tease? I mean, what, what? You're not sure if he's the one? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I can't believe you're holding out. I'll tell him that you said that. And is we'll this... A new thing, like you're holding out now because it hasn't led to a relationship when you've been so easy? Um, no. I think I'm just selective about who I date, so. But I wonder why you're holding out for yeah, three months with the Yeah, why this guy angle. can't get it? I don't know. I'll tell, I'll tell him that you said that, though. I'm, I'm sure. He'll... I'm a little shocked, Dave. I'll be honest with you. I'm shocked you're not giving the anal. <laughs> After three yeah. months, I mean, if I'm a dude and I'm with yeah, another dude. Yeah, you're saying and... that's a boyfriend. Yeah. You call him your boyfriend. Yeah. Have you guys discussed whether or not you're going to do anal eventually? Uh, no, not yet. I mean, it hasn't even come up? No. So you guys are busy blowing each other, and as soon as someone starts fucking around with your asshole, it's like uh, you just pucker up? No, we haven't done that yet. Wow. Huh? Maybe he's not into anal, your partner. Maybe. The great thing to me about being gay is if it's two guys, there's no waiting. Just put it in my ass. <laughs> like, why should I make a guy wait? I want it, he wants it. To me, if I was in this uh, a gay guy having this much issues, I- I'd go, listen. Let me just triple check that I'm not into pussy. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me let me try it again with a chick because I don't know, maybe something's Yeah, maybe awful. you're not gay. Have you ever tried sex with a woman? No. You might not be gay. 
get in some pussy, man. You might go, holy <laughs> fuck. What, what was I thinking? Wow, I'm shocked to hear this, Dave. I really am. Most gay guys... I, I, so I, I, are you in your 30s, sir? I don't know. No, he's 24. Oh, are you 24? Tamani, well, don't you hear? I mean, <laughs> but I think even most gay guys that age have, a lot of them have tried a chick. You know what I mean? Uh, and, no, and, my, my, my cousin's gay. He says, girls, ugh. Never. Never. Really? Never would he ever you paint never himself came, with pussy. You never came close, Dave? No. 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 Mm. Wow. I find it strange that Dave has had anal. He and, likes it. And he won't do it with this guy. I got to tell you, Dave, you're blowing my mind. <laughs> I didn't say we wouldn't do it. I said we haven't done it. So, no. Are you more like the girl type? Like, in other words, you're the one, like, stopping, like, oh, you know, I'm not ready yet for my anal. You know. Oh. Um, <laughs> you're the one with the I'm American the Idol website? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I'm just saying, are you more like the girl going, you know, I'm saving this for a special moment? and? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Wow. Oh, so it's going to be some, you know, big deal when you do it. God, what yeah, a, yeah. What a like, surprise. Like, like, what do you think will trigger the anal? Like, what what, what, <laughs> what would have to happen? Um, Sanjaya is sticking around another week on American Idol. How about You're that? saying if Sanjaya hangs in for another week, you will give your boyfriend anal. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's even more incentive. Another reason to vote. What a surprise that the leader of the vote for Sanjaya yeah. movements of uh, a homosexual. Oh, come on. I said a homosexual. I like this guy, Dave. So do I. Dave, uh, I like it. Just think most gay I like people. what you're doing. I even like you saving yourself. What do you think of that? Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> Save your ass. This is big. You're getting a lot of attention on the website, over a million hits, and tonight is the night. Now, if I go to the website, you will give out the phone number for Sanjay and everything? Yeah, what we do is as soon as we know what the number is, we'll put it up on the site as, you know, the first post on the, on, it's, it's kind of blog-like, so the first post will have his phone number in it, it'll tell you what time to call and all that stuff, so right. everyone checks out the site as soon as uh, Sanjay, I mean, we don't know when he's singing, so he may be singing late into the show, or early in the right. show, but as soon as he sings, we'll put his phone number up. But I'm with you, pal. I'm, uh, I've joined, and I am definitely voting for the worst tonight. That's awesome. We appreciate it. So. You bet. And Eric, Eric, you, come on, man, join the fun. No, I'm not going to do it. Do it. Join the fun. Just vote for no. Sanjaya once. Once. No. He says he's going to be on there voting for someone else over and over and over again. Eric, who are you voting for? Lakeisha. Lakeisha, she doesn't need votes. She's going to be fine anyway. Vote for Sanjaya. Sh Sanjaya needs votes. Sanjaya exactly. needs every vote he can and, get. And in the, in, the, in the newspapers, they're saying that Lakeisha and Sanjaya are like best friends now. So you have to vote for Sanjaya so you can help Lakeisha because they're best friends. She would be so sad if you went home. What a gay conversation, <laughs> is it? I know. He's, he's, I think he's got him on the... But he's, he's getting to Eric. He's, he's getting to Eric a little bit. No, he's not. Not at all. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Without Sanjaya, I don't think I'm watching American Idol. I, exactly. I'm telling it's you, boring it's this boring. Show yeah, they don't have uh, anybody who's really charismatic this season. All right. Well, well Eric, you're I, making a mistake. I wanted to see his sister on, not him. <clears throat> All right, Eric. We know you're straight. You can't get his sister, so vote for him. Who's right. his sister? Yeah, if you vote for him, maybe he'll be happy and he'll he'll send his sister over. Sister was hot. I oh, saw her, really? Yeah. All right, hey, hey, listen, uh, uh, Dave. Mm -hmm. Good job, man. Vote for the worst dot com, and let's okay. see what happens. And, and call me back if we're triumphant or if we lose, and let's let's do the analysis. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. That is Dave. He is the founder of VoteForTheWorst dot com, and we have joined in uh, arm in arm, in solidarity. Yes. And we hope that we are successful despite Eric the Midget's evil anti-campaign. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Thanks. That's Dave. Right, bye. Goodbye. For now. Let's go to uh, Steve Langford from the Howard 100 News team. Let's go to John Hine. And let's, of course, get to Robin, which is very, very important. Let's go to Steve first from the Howard 100 News. Just some of the stories we're working on in the Howard 100 Newsroom. Is Riley Martin about to propel himself out of the serious orbit? Oh, I can't believe I didn't even get to speak about this today. What's this? Well, Riley's last show is tonight, I believe. No. This is where I think Riley's going to go blow up and, and scream about right. what a cheap fuck I am and, and Tim is a piece of shit and uh, <laughs> use the N-word. I think the meltdown's going to happen tonight. Uh -huh. It's uh, 7 o'clock. On then I got to be there. It's on 101 <laughs> at 7 o'clock. But um, I may call in to stir the pot. <laughs> oh, please. It's going to be. We should all call in. Midnight Eastern. Midnight. Midnight? Midnight Eastern. 
Why, uh, by the yeah, way. Yeah, Jackie's joke hunt is Why won't you give me a promo o'clock. card? There's a promo card right in front of you. Yes. It's probably covered by all the other papers, but I put it. No. In. Where is it? Show me. It's taped to your console. Oh, oh, down here. Guys, come on. I don't look. Oh, I put it in 50 fucking places. No, right up, right up on my console. Oh, bullshit. Here. There, Here's the way. Come on. Where is the note? Wait a second. This isn't even the note. Show me where it is. Come here. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Oh, oh, underneath two papers. Get out of here. You said put it there. You're fired. Unbelievable. Hold on, hold on. Everywhere else I've ever put it, everywhere else I've ever put it, you're like, Gary, just put it there. I'll fucking find it. I put it all over your console. Gary, Und- don't cover the, the papers, meters. Robin. Don't cover the clock. Don't cover the other notes. And I said, well, where would you, you like it? Thank you. Thank you. You're Perfect explanation. Please. Yeah, okay. Sal's gonna get his ass That's my favorite Baba Boo song. <laughs> I like this one too. This is a good one. Don't do that. Oh. <laughs> 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 It's so funny. While we play those those songs, <laughs> Sal's out in the hall in various Gary masks and giant bobbleheads. You know what's so great? I know Sal's Achilles heel. He's jumping around, jumping around, having fun. And did you see the way he just walked away dejected? Yeah. I said, it's a good thing you have that fucking mask. None of your bits are funny. Then he, he just walks away all over. <laughs> that deflates him. Uh, anyway, Steve, you were doing the news. Go ahead. The Riley Martin story. Negotiations between the king of outer space and Tim Sabian said to be stalled in the stratosphere. And Howard 100 News has the audio tape of negotiations between these two intergalactic warriors. What Stay you tuned. You have vi- uh, audio tape of Tim and uh, Absolutely. Riley? Absolutely, yes. How come Tim doesn't give that to yeah. me? That's top priority. Oh, they ha- you have the actual negotiation? Yes. Wow. I, I gave it to you this morning. No, Where is everybody it? Everybody gives you Scott. everything. What? Scott has it. No one, no one shows oh. it to me. I get. Gary, get in here. Hold on, hold on. What are you talking? This is the first I'm hearing about it now. Jason said he gave it to Scott this morning. But Scott- where is that fucking nincompoop Scott keeping material from me? That motherfucking bald asshole. <laughs> Why do I have him in my life? Scott, get out of my life. Oh. Where is my tape? You they, scumbag! Yes, I'm a scumbag. You no, know, you, you know I'm not laughing. You no, fuck. No, it's Jason. Where gave is it, my tape? Jason gave it to me and said, "Work on it when you get a chance. Oh. It's eight minutes, and I was, we want to cut it down." I said, "All right, I'll get to it." When you would know. you get he, to it? it? Well, he said it wasn't top priority. What if I was told? Jason, that it, so now it's you, you fuck. He, if I was told that it was going to be needed right away, I'd no do it. No one right. knows that. that, 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 that what that, a deflection what? seminar! What? So, so what are you doing? <laughs> Boom! Kid, you mean I got fifty guys back there? No one could sit and cut a piece. I can give you the whole thing right now. Give it to Sal and Richard, not you, Scott. Why not? I, because I mean, Sal and Richard would have had it for me in five minutes. But I was, I was told that no. I didn't have to get it to you right that Jason, second. No. is that what you told no. me? No. I got the second. What time would I hear this? The Tomorrow second I or? got a, an, an email about this audio, I gave it to Scott. I go, here's where you get it. It's eight minutes long. Cut it up and let Tim listen to it before you give it to Howard. That's all I said. You guys are nuts. You, I mean, I, I'm I telling you, he said he came in. He said, I, work on it when you get a chance. What time did you what get chance? the audio? I got it this morning, more, like well, 7 well, o'clock. But it's no good tomorrow. Today! Yeah, Riley's show comes on tonight. I understand that. 
I Why give, was I, give I not up on CC'd this on this email? I'm there's sorry. So I, thought, many, I thought Scott knew There's so many motherfuckers working for me. But Would wasn't you? there a procedure? Doesn't all no. this though? Isn't God it all Scott. supposed to go Jason, through Gary? I'll go through Gary. I forget. I'm sorry. I why don't you contact Gary with this? I, I made a mistake. I should have told you. Why are I your people Gary? not contacting you? Honestly, what is your fucking problem? Look. Get your fucking guys in there and fire some of these motherfuckers if they don't talk to you. That'll teach them. You better get tough, motherfucker. <laughs> I mean it. I didn't even know what to say. I, got I tell you what, nobody respects me. you. A guy who is a hard worker tried to take the initiative, gave it to Scott. Scott Saturday. No, so the initiative now, is to give it to you. You're the producer. But okay, that's, that's like right. that's like on Saturday Night Live, they skip Lorne Michaels and they just approve a sketch without him. It right. don't happen. None of it can get on the air without you. You're, I'm I'm but, but I, I, you're I, keeping too many people around. You're, you're fucking me by, by, by not being tough. I'm fucking you by... Oh, you fucked me. You fucked me. And my right. listeners, who pay money to hear this show. I'm sorry that you're fucked. Wow. Why don't your guys come to you when they have a piece of tape? What are you Literally busy answer, with? I will launch a fucking investigation. No, you won't. you the fucking Warren Report. Yeah, it's real funny, Gary. Warren it's Report. It's funny. It's like, you know, you're... You, I'm a what? What am I? You mean you I care see, about my you work? Your fucking oh, it's there. okay, Riley Martin. Who cares? Okay, that's what I'll say, Gary. That's just not like what you. How, it's my fault. I should have told Gary. I right. got the Why audio. Why don't you tell Gary? I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't think of it. I got the, the, the audio. I gave it to Scott. I thought it was being taken care of by Scott. I'm sorry no, for Scott not. Scott doesn't take care of You're anything. right. Scott You're right. doesn't do it unless he's forced to do it. No, I'm not forced. I apologize. Go to Gary. I'm sorry for Go to Gary. <laughs> Absolutely. And Gary will assign it to the person who can get it done quickest. Absolutely. Now, quick and Scott, don't go in the same sentence. Oh, stop it. What? Stop it! I tell you, I can't take it around here anymore. I got 57 fucking guys. Oh, well, it's not fair of me to blame Scott. It's not his fault. No, it's supposed that there's an order out there. That's right. If, That's I, if Scott knew breached. he had to have it, he would have had it. Yeah. I apologize, Scott. But Jason, what's with you not going to Gary? Where's Scott? Come here. I have a, an apology. I'm out of my mind from this. I, you see, I, I hate this. No, I, I understand. Why are you making my life miserable now? I'm so, I gave it to Just the guy. Just go to Gary. That's what I got the fucker here for. Okay, I'll give everything to Gary. Think I, I got him here for his looks? <laughs> Gabe's got the audio at 7 a.m. this morning. I didn't know it was going to be a thing. But it's never going to come out of there if You're Scott right. doesn't know that You're right. Scott didn't I'm know. sorry for trusting Scott. I'm sorry. I can't blame I'm sorry. Scott. Don't no. apologize Don't to me. Don't trust I mean, Scott. You know, no, I'm I, apologizing to you. This is not your fault. I mean, I even had it on my computer. I was just Understood. trying to get to it for, for the morning. I'm not mad at you. Don't. It's just... It should have been done. We're no, all no, to blame. No, We're all you to blame. are not to blame. I said you're not to blame. Okay, fine. Accept it. Thank you. Jason's got to go to Gary. He's right. I, I skipped a step. I apologize. Don't skip steps around I'm here. I'm sorry. I won't. Jesus. R Riley Martin negotiation tape, and Steve Langford has it. That's if I wasn't hot. standing here, you'd have it already. All right. So, thank you. Thank right. you for that. I mean, come on. We got good material. We, we die for material like that. We'll play it at noon. I think you guys are dieting too much. Your brains are, uh, are, are getting cooked. What do you think of that, John Hine? I mean, really, what do you think of this? I think uh, isn't that a major piece of tape? Of Riley course, Martin Riley negotiating. negotiating. I think Jason tried to get it done and bypassed Gary for whatever reason to do it, and it didn't happen. But I can see why he'd be so frustrated. I am frustrated. Am I be? Am I overreacting? I know I'm gonna get 20 email. You're a fucking scumbag. You yell at your staff. But what am I supposed to do? Robert, am I wrong? Well, unless, it, it, I, I, unfortunately, it seems that if every once in a while you don't do that, what happened here happens more often because they forget the order. You've set up this system so that things reach you in a timely fashion, and Scott knows the priority of tapes and other work he has to do. But if they're going to jump the gun and just go and give Scott tape, he doesn't know what to do with it. And the only way that seems to stay on track is there's a little tweaking session like this. And, you know, if Gary comes to me and says, I got tape of Riley Martin negotiating with Tim, I know the yeah, audience Yeah, Gary go can't come to you. He doesn't even know it's there. <clears throat> now, here it is, 10 o'clock, and I'm hearing about it for the first fucking time. From Steve Langford. Steve Langford, I'm hearing from. Even he, you should be yelling at him. Why didn't he get tell you soon? Why didn't he promote he that He could earlier? promote the news all day. God damn. <laughs> and that Gary boy, he sits back there. 
Gary thinks he has a working system. He, you know, he didn't. Uh, hey, Robin, every no. system you have never breaks down. No, I'm, I'm defending you. You're Gary, not understanding you what break, I'm saying. I'm it. defending you. You break you. down every day. Yesterday, it was the diet thing. You acted like it was the first time we ever did it. You know what? It's, again, I'm, I'm not going to. Got to get on your game. Get on your game. Get on your game, Gary. Get on your game. Your people are not communicating back there. <laughs> you should be screaming like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Watching Sal dancing. <laughs> about <laughs> 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 Robin, can I do the news? No, no, no. no. Uh, let me ask you something. Wait, 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 can you that. yell at the people out there like Howard yells? No, he can't. That's he, what he, the problem is. Will and Jason, the I two can't yell at the people like that if you don't have a microphone. Give me a microphone and I'll yell. <laughs> Good. Yell at them, Dave. You got a microphone right now. You got a right microphone, now. yeah. Let's hear it. <laughs> Listen, you fucking assholes. Don't fucking make me look like shit. Right. That sounded real good. <laughs> Sounds like you're real pissed. Yeah, you know what it is, though, too? It's my fault because, like, even with Gary, he, he, every day, you know, do what you want, laissez-faire, and everyone just takes advantage that, of my... I'm a nice guy. That's is my it? problem. I am a nice guy. Are you not? No, I am. I, unfortunately, I am, Gary. If you think I, that I, I, let me tell you something. If somebody was going past Lorne Michaels, it wouldn't be here. But you sure no one's ever I, fucked I, up on Lorne Michaels show ever. I don't know. That makes one I tell you what, fired. nothing gets on the air except for Lorne Michaels knowing about it. I'm sure that everyone that makes any sort of mistake. Uh, you know what, Gary? I'm not going to argue with you. You're, you're right. I'm wrong. What I'm do I know? I'm not saying that I'm right. You, I'm you, you did that... a great job. You Thank might, you. You must be perfect. Tell, why don't you sit down with Jason and Will instead of talking to me and figure out how you guys I will, but I don't want to interrupt the show, Howard, because then if I go talk to them, you'll be pissed I'm not paying attention here. All right, thanks. Thanks. You'll, you'll, you'll always find something. All right, thanks, Gary. Sorry. No, I, must, I must be wrong. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Yeah, go, go find the tape. All right, Steve, what, what other tapes do you have that I don't know about? Well, so if you don't hear that tape here in the next hour, stay tuned to Howard 100 News all day long as we you hear... You won't hear it in the next hour. At some point, i got to end this show. It's already 10 o'clock. What, am I sitting here all fucking day and do shows? Well, it's he's talking hours. about the news. You won't be here to hear it. Oh. Steve, don't start suggesting when we finish the show now. That's your fault. Now go ahead. <laughs> we will hear Riley Martin go at it with Tim Sabian. Riley reportedly seeking 20000 bucks a show, 10000 for his co-host. Oh, would I love to hear that. Oh. But that's, I mean, this is unreal to me. I'm going home. I can't take it. My head's going to explode. I fucking hate this. Early lunch. 57 people here. Well, we got to hire another person. How many people am I going to hire? Just get a piece of goddamn tape on the air. <laughs> Remarkable. Yes. Is tonight the end of the Riley Martin Show, midnight Eastern, Howard 101. What, you got the tape now, Gary, so I can go to 3 or 4 o'clock? Uh, what do you think I am, robo-DJ? Would you rather not have it? I know we didn't have it, so we got past that. You yelled at me for would that. I would I rather you, not have it? No, would you because, because you know I'm going to listen to it. I'm gonna do, I, I don't want to disappoint my audience. Of course i got to have it now, but I'll go to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. All right. Then yeah, all right. It's not ready. It's all right with you. Then it's not ready. Get the fuck out of here. What the hell's wrong with you? Don't play games with me, pal. If you want it, it's there. If you don't want it, then don't Good, want it. good. Well, then put it up so I can be here till 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's up. Maniac. It's up. Good. Fine. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, but, but I'm a dog. I'll see you You want to know where day. the fuck it is or not? That's all I want to know. I, you already browbeat the shit out of me, so do you want to know where it is? I don't want to know anything from okay, you. Then, then don't, don't tell me anything. Just go meet with Jason and we'll figure out how you're going to get this shit on the air during my time slot. <laughs> I like he's angry at me for wanting to get things done right. I That's know, the reverse psychology. These guys going to yell at me because uh, I want it done right. Because I wanted it at 6 a.m., not at 10 oh, You're yelling at me for giving it to you now. Where, no, where, I, that's not why I'm yelling at you, Gary. Where do you, where, what can I possibly do besides fucking Do die? your job. Besides die, do what your can job. I do? Do your job. Do but your I job. that, now what? I don't know. Exactly. If I don't, don't know what you can do. How am I supposed to know? Don't yell at me, fuckface. You're the one who screwed it I'm up. I'm saying if you don't know what I'm supposed to do, I'm trying to give it to you now, and you're just, no matter what I do, if That's I breathe, right. it's, it's, you're going to yell at it's me. done. Thank you. Damage done. Am I asking too much? 
Am I? Am I, Robin? You're the voice of reason. It's a very simple thing, and and quite frankly. It's true. Nothing gets on the air without going through Gary. Yeah. They I mean, forget the system. It's like it's like like no one can retain, retain that information. Can't retain it. I'm going to write a big sign. But retain what? That I didn't know there was a piece retain of paper? No, that no, people your don't staff is you. not following so the rules. God, How many to- times are we going to work on it? How many times before it, we, 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 we throw our hands up in the air and say, you, you, you can't run your staff? Thank you. There should be a big sign in there. Everything goes through Gary. That's it. Artie, am I crazy? Wake up. Uh, well, listen, uh, the, obviously there's people in the back who don't operate at the same intellect level that we do. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Here is the tape now, boss. It's 11 past 10 o'clock. I'll do Why anything. Why you start to, doing it now? I'll do anything to get out of here by a quarter. Huh? You could be here till 5 p.m. Do a show all day, and we'll get to everything. Realize, of course, that you spent more time bitching about it than actually Don't playing. tell me what I'm doing wrong now. Worry about what you're doing wrong. I'll figure out my fucking situation. Now, uh, for people who were... We were talking about this a couple of weeks ago. This is what the Thursday meeting used to be like for two hours. It's not true. I wouldn't talk this much at all. <laughs> Did I overreact? <laughs> yeah. Am I overreacting? I mean, I don't know. You see, I, this show matters to me so much. A tape like that, to me, sounds funny. And there's an ebb and flow to this show. I plan it out in the sense that I go, okay, i got five cool things here to do. And within the four hours, and then usually the last hour, we, you know, Robin wraps things up. So I'd like to, at some reasonable time, say, hey, look what I got, make a big deal about it. You, you in other words, I know in the grand scheme of life, it's not important to people. But this is, I take this show seriously, and I've got 50 guys back there. But it won't nearly be as pertinent if Riley's gone after tonight. Yeah, yeah tonight, and then I could have promoted his show. Yeah. I mean, it's a big deal that we have that tape. And Tim does his job, gets the tape, gives it to Jason, and then it's almost like, well, what else am I missing, too? Like, can I trust these guys? Like, we have mail come in every day, and they're supposed to go through it and look for CDs that listeners sent in and stuff. And I, and I, I, I tremble at the thought of what is missed because I take this job so seriously. That's why I'm successful at it. No, it's, it's and when no, people don't have the same intensity as me, it panics me. It this absolutely is exactly panics what those meetings me. Were like. This was exactly I'm what the glad. So, so my meetings are useless, is what you're saying, because nothing's changed. Oh, it's important Tell me what I should say to you, Gary. Everybody. What should I like, like, like Richard was just saying, like you sit and you think about whether the mail's been gone through, and it is going, being gone through every day, yet you ignore the mail, you know, stuff from the mail page. But it's fine. It's there for you when you want it. It's not, no, I but it's need there. it when I need it's it. There. We know it's there. But what isn't there is what bothers me. I wonder what else am I missing? Like, when would I have learned about the Riley Martin phone call? Two days from now? Maybe never. Maybe it would have gotten buried in that sea of work that Scott has back there. Who knows, Gary? Who knows? I, I, I have an issue on that, too. I think you're letting Scott... I, I think that Jason absolutely should have brought it to me, no doubt. I think you're letting Scott off the hook a little bit. Well, good. Why don't I just sea- alienate everyone? No, I don't think there's a sea of work. I think there's a lot of work that we've the, taken the, away from him. The work that, is supposed to go... And also, a lot of times, when... when Part oh, of the, how do I get part, him out of my head? Net, I can't turn off his hold mic. On a second. Part I don't the, know how to do it. Part of the safety net for the system is when somebody gets safety stuck to something, net. he'll call me and he'll say, All right. Gary, what's the priority? Here's the safety net. Here's the safety net. Take the safety net and stick it around me and lock me up at a funny farm. Like a butterfly net. If that's what the safety net looks like, take it and put me in there and throw me in the mental institution. Thank you. Safety net. Just bring all the shit to Gary, and Gary knows about it, and he tells me. Such a simple system. I don't know. How much, how much more? E- how easy can it be? Because of all of these kinds of things, that's why the, it, the system of bring everything to Gary was created. Yeah. Unreal. I'm exhausted. I'm drained. I'm drained. I rely on Gary to run this. I see he's typing on his computer. Who knows what he's typing? He's like, I, I must, <laughs> I book a fucking guess. I must remember. 
<laughs> You're not going to start that. You should get a big chalkboard. Take this up to the chalk. <laughs> yeah, right. Fi- right. What is he typing? I wonder. Dear, dear Tommy Shaw, <laughs> if you must know. Type it away. It, why don't we just uh, take another minute? This is the part where you talk about what a fucking moron I am. That I, never I didn't say you're a moron. That I never learned how to type. I'm watching you peck away there. <laughs> dear Tommy. P. Oh, where's the M? <laughs> Pecking away one. You can take a typing lesson. With that one finger. One finger. <laughs> Get that one finger. It's the same finger he smells when he's in talking to me. Hmm. That finger's very busy. It's typing. <laughs> oh, it's so it's, busy. <laughs> it's smelling. Picking. <laughs> Look at Sal. <laughs> Stop typing. Put his monkey costume on. Pecking away one finger at a time. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I... It's like if you found out your accountant misplaced 20 grand, then you'd say, well, gee, I wonder what else he misplaced. You know oh, what I mean? Well, no, this is more like the IRS comes knocking at your door. Mm-hmm. And they say, you know, Mr. Stern, we are charging you with tax fraud because you didn't pay. Right. And then you find out your accountant for no, God. Right. Well, it's his fault. His <laughs> <laughs> fault is it? <laughs> I mean, I'm drained. I'm drained. And when he says he's, you're letting Scott off the hook, that means he doesn't want to yell at Scott. Right. Well, you I can no yell. Problem, at I, I believe I have no problem with that, Robin. <laughs> okay. It's no not problem. Scott's well, then fault. Yell at Scott. It's not but Scott's fault. But if Gary has an issue there, then he should take care of it. He shouldn't give it back to you. Yeah. Oh no, he wants me to go yell at Scott. Now, I'm not looking, I'm not looking for you, you to said. Scott. All you right. know what? I'm not going to fuck this. Good. That's the best thing you said today. <laughs> Somehow it's my fault. I was in good shape today. Did the best I could. Can we do the Riley Martin tape in the news? That could be news. All right, whatever. I'll, I'll, you're you're um, in charge of that. I will uh, work around it. All right. So tonight is Riley Martin's quote-unquote last show, uh, unless there has been a change in the negotiations, <laughs> oh, Howard. great, yeah. I think they, we may have a tape of no. some of the goings-on. I don't have it. You don't? No. I hope you're happy. I do happy. have it, but I have to tell you where it is if you want Tell to. Robin. Don't tell me. Robin? Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Robin, this is what you need to know. It's our Gary preview page. Bottom right hand corner of pink, and what I listened to the first four minutes of it, and it was so good, and I wanted to get in so quickly. Get that fucking thing off me! And then I didn't, uh, I didn't listen to the last four minutes, but I, I wanted to get in it quickly, and I assumed that it was going to continue to be good. All it right. Was so good. <laughs> Fuck. On the uh, Gary preview page two in the lower. Oh, I got it. I one. got it. I preview got it. Preview page one. I'm, I'm sorry. I was quick as a whip. <laughs> Hey, I wanted to pick up where we left off, and if we could uh, kind of continue the conversation about uh, going forward uh, with you doing the show. And I know that you're at five million, and I'm at three hundred. So there's a bit of a gap in. Yeah, well, hey Tim, come on, man. Let's don't uh, get into uh, uh, the juxtaposition of jousting with one another. Start giving me a reasonable number frame. Based upon uh, my uh, uh, import to you, and 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 we can deal. Please don't carry me through this again. Okay. Well, <laughs> look, it's not. Wow. It's no skin off your people's nose to do something decent. The max I can afford is four hundred dollars a show. Uh, max. Bullshit. That's bullshit. It. I'm telling you, that's max I can do. Bullshit. Well, then it's Oh, uh, you give up. Uh, okay. Stein, who is my hero. Mine, too. Makes $18,000 a minute. <laughs> uh, so How do you know that? I can uh, calculate things in my fucking head, fool. <laughs> Be so kind. I have to take $400 and roll it, you know, like up in a, like, you know, you do a money roll and stick it in your ass. <laughs> Raleigh, do you realize that that's six dollars and sixty-six cents a minute? That's a uh, motherfucker. I can't even live in Jersey at four hundred dollars a week. I am not just a man. 
I am a phenomena. <laughs> uh, a cornucopia, a dictionary, a time, space, knowledge, uh, and uh, revelation to the extent as to where uh, the truck driver as well as the physicist can understand what I'm saying. Now, if you don't want to pay me, son, and let me die poor, then get uh, get that girl uh, that uh, uh, fucks horses or something to do your next show. So you're saying then that you don't want to do the show anymore? I'm not going to do the show for Trump change, no. Okay. Well, we're going to miss you, Riley. I'm going to miss you, too. All right, so if you have a change of heart, please feel free. No, I have no change of heart for no four fucking hundred dollars. Forget that. That's dead. Okay. If you have a change of heart, you fucking, you call me. Okay. Tonight or tomorrow night is your last show, son. Okay. All right? I'll look forward to it, Riley. Okay, take care. All right. See you Bye. Bye. Riley's got a good idea. If that girl that fucks horses is available, yeah, give her she 20 can have grand an hour. Show. I'll give her 20 grand a show. <laughs> Remember that tape, the chick who fucks horses? I <laughs> haven't played that in a while. I know. He remembers that. Yep. She's got an act. Well, we'll tune in tonight at midnight, Riley's uh, final show, so he says. I don't believe it. I believe Riley will be back. Um, usually Riley needs a cooling off period. Right. He's that kind of negotiator. Well, what are the odds of uh, Riley coming back? Artie, will Riley be back? Yes. I'll give it. Mm, I'll give it eight to five. All right, Fred. Seventy percent chance says he'll be back. Seventy percent. Seventy percent. I would put it. I up think to he'll it. take a hiatus of maybe three weeks. I would put it up to eighty-five. Ooh. I'd put it up to ninety, and three weeks sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. But what, I could be wrong. Once nobody starts, you know, coming up for those uh, yeah, stickers or whatever he designs anymore. Well, the whole point is, if he can take it somewhere else for more money, he should. Hello, CNN. <laughs> <laughs> We give Scott something. Thought he'd do it. I thought he'd thought, think, no, it was an awesome piece of tape to work on. But uh, he needs he needs Gary to kick him in the ass. That's all. So I should have gone to Gary. I should have let Gary know about it much earlier. I didn't think about it. And, you know, now I'm getting fucked for it. Jason Kaplan seems to think that you're at fault and that you should have known that this should be done in a timely manner. Well, I know is he came in here and he said, here, you get the audio. Here's the phone call. I said, when do you need it? He said... Just listen to it, you know. Cut it down, and when you get when you get some time, then we'll I'll listen to it, and we'll we'll see what we got. But he he conveyed no sense of urgency, Scott. Did no, he? no, no, not to, if he would have. If he was said we want it for today's show, or how, you know, it'd be good for Howard to get it. I I would have done. I started working on it, and then I got interrupted um, by other things, and then I was getting back to it, you know, when we had just when Howard had just called for it. There is no trust left here. Everything will go through Gary. So from now on, that's it? I, I, everything's going through Gary. At the very least, if something goes wrong, then I will yell at Gary and not me. If, if for that reason only, I will put everything through Gary. He doesn't even know it's there. Listen, it all leads to me. I, I run the show, so absolutely can't start blaming underlings for shit. Well, Jason's stance seemed to be that Scott needs to have a sense of urgency. He needs to understand that something he, do, he does and he doesn't. I, w I, I wish that Scott would have said to me, sometimes he gets stuff, and what he would do in the past would call me and say, hey, I got all this stuff, prioritize it for me. But we're supposed to give it to him and prioritize it for him first. Throwing out, you know, the parameters of what people's jobs are. Right. Yeah, Scott probably should have looked at that and go, wow, this is pretty important. But I don't know what else Scott had on, on his plate. I don't know what else he was doing. Maybe he had something that was more important. And then, but I wish he would have said to me, "Hey, Gary, Jason gave me this." Generally, he would say to me, "Hey, Gary, gave, Jason gave me this uh, this uh, Tim Riley call," and I would be like, "Oh, let me come in and listen to it." But he didn't, and then it falls right on your lap. Right. And then the entire, you know, Howard's hammering on you. It, it turns into a whole, you know, I need to start cracking the whip. This laissez-faire attitude doesn't work. Yeah, I mean that's that's, a, that's the part off. that bums me out because it's not a lazy fair attitude. And then he went into that whole rap about how he doesn't know what else isn't getting done out here, and he's not out here. He doesn't see the operation. So when one thing goes wrong, to suggest that the whole operation is a shit operation, it bumps us out because it's not. So we do an unscripted, unrehearsed show, and considering that, I think we do a very good job. All of us, Howard, Robin, and the guys in the back office. Speaking of the guys in the back office, when all this is going down. Sal, as always, is just ready to hammer on you. He's ready to just kick you when you're down. 
at this point, is there, are you just so used to it that it doesn't phase you, or is there still that little part of you that's like, fuck you, man? You know what? He's struggling because uh, he's been writing bits and Howard hasn't been playing him and he hasn't been that funny. He hasn't really written a funny bit since December, so he's got to fall back on what made him famous, you know. I guess it's like, you know, when uh, when a one-hit wonder has to play that same stupid fucking song over and over again, that's what Sal does. So God bless him. At least he's got a hit song. I don't know what Vols' problem is. I went out, I told Scott to get that audio together, and he didn't do it. And Vols yells at me. What am I supposed to do? It's not like I'm a producer of a show for 20 years. I don't know what to do. I'm just a dumb, stupid monkey running around talking about Hall and Oates and John Mellencamp and doing stupid rapper shows. And I talk too much, too. So I don't know what false problem is. I got to go back to typing now. Take care. Goodbye. Dear Mary, please have my bananas ready. For me, when I get home, I say goodbye. I got work to do. All right, let me, uh, Robin, thank happening. you very much. Uh, everybody, thank you. I'm sorry I had a meltdown on the air. I, I, I take the show very, I apologize to Gary, Will, and Jason for my outrageous behavior. I think it was I justified. Oh, well, in that case. He takes his apology no, back. I don't, I don't like to make things personal. But I do. When I have my meltdowns, I can't control them. I'm like uh, Phil Naomi Ramone. Campbell. I'm like Phil Ramone without the gun. Oh. <laughs> I think more like Naomi Campbell. I'm more like Naomi Campbell. I just couldn't find my diamond-studded cell phone. <laughs> I just care about the show. So please don't send me an email saying what a skunk I am. Too late. <clears throat> Too oh, late. It's already, started? Yeah. It's already oh, coming yeah, in. What yeah, it say? Just, you know, it's they're they're basically. Read me it. I mean, there's there's some that are like complimentary and on your side, and then there's <laughs> others that are not. Okay, here's a preview. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sick of it. I'm sick of me. <laughs> Howard, you've been such a happy, contented, funny guy since coming over to Sirius, but since you got engaged, you turned back. Okay. Uh, I am under some stress. Starting to sound like a bitter old man. <laughs> uh, Howard is totally wrong. Mistakes happen. It's okay. He doesn't have to blame Gary and yell at him for every little thing that doesn't go right. He's right. He's right. Gary he's does right. a great job, and Howard should kiss his feet every day. All right. Howard, lay the fuck off of Gary. He has covered your seagull ass more times than you know. It's okay. your fucking problem if your people don't know what to do with good tape. <laughs> Yeah, that, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, well. He's having a Wah, I have to stay late. Wah, shut the fuck up. Ah, so you have late. to stay extra to listen no, to Riley's Tim the, negotiation We could have built tape. the whole show This is the email. It. It's not me. <laughs> I feel it's you. <laughs> Dude, you're only on the air four days a week. A little overtime All once right. in a while okay. won't He's hurt you. He's missing the point. It's a flow <laughs> to the show. You know? Howard, the last few days seems like he's been on the rag or something. This must be what it's like after you get engaged. Poor guy. He's feeling the pressure. Ha, 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 ha. Well, let me just say. You know who you really need to apologize who? to more than anybody will? Why Will? Because Will got pulled into this whole thing. He didn't even do anything. That's true. Will and has nothing to do Will with goes, it. Will goes, how the hell did I get stuck well, in Well, I feel your... like Will and Jason are Siamese <laughs> twins. Because <Right. laughs> Jason talks to Will. Right. And used to live right. with him. Right. Will, I apologize to you for sucking you into this. You had nothing to do with it. Jason, <laughs> Gary, I am over the top, clearly. I have reactions that are just like as if you murdered me, as if you put a knife in my heart. We all care about the show. We do. Well, I know can you I, do. I, can I just Jason, do you know that? I don't want you going on more antidepressants, you fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll, uh, he's no, I'm trying still, to lose weight. They haven't raised my uh, dosage. No, I haven't. I'm gonna go I understand your wrist. anger, and I apologize, too, for messing up. All right, look, there we'll was a mess forward. up, but my reaction was over the can, top. Can I, just get, I apologize. Can I just get 10 seconds? Yeah. The only thing... The I, one... As a favor to the audience, I will edit that out of the show, my tantrum. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that bothers me is that we do work really hard and we do care about you the do. show. And, and when a mistake like this happens, it's not indicative of how... Like, you don't see the office run, so you think that that's how the office runs all the time. And no, it does. and I, I don't know how you. to express I my disappointment. You. But I promise you it's not how right. the office runs. All right. Thank all you. Right. Thank you. All right. There we go. See you, Cardi. Look, there's an ebb and a flow, and it was disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for understanding. I'm with you, man. If I knew how to email, they'd all be on your side. Thank you. I know Robin likes when I crack the whip.
I just got. Oh, stop it! I get uncomfortable too. <laughs> you even shut up during it. <laughs> My biggest question right now is. Uh, you guys what? just let me go. Wow. Well, I think it turns Rob gonna... and on. She goes, "Oh, he's so powerful." <laughs> By the way, the meltdown will be on Howard TV tomorrow night. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Was I wearing my shades during it? Thank you. Towards the end, she says, you know, maybe one day he'll make me his wife. <laughs> like, Jake, she's lucky. You know what that's like? <laughs> I, I, I got to think of a better analogy because she's dead and she's sort of a Satan. Now, but it's like, if you pay to see McCartney, although Ronnie's on McCartney and you got Linda McCartney. Yeah, but right. that's not even right because Ronnie's on Paul McCartney. Right, right. <laughs> well, everyone's got these projects. I've got superstars surrounding me. I'm looking for somebody who isn't a superstar. I turned on the news yesterday. Oh, every 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 newscast I hear is Lisa G's book. You better buy Lisa G's book, or <laughs> or, um, or or we'll never stop hearing about it. I go, what what what, is, what, what do we have anybody here who just kind of does the show, <laughs> or am I nuts? A Ronnie's block party going to Jamaica. Mm. I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, that's getting out of hand. With Beetlejuice and oh my god. like an extravaganza. Meanwhile, Ronnie was with me at America's Got Talent. Then he had to jet off to get to this fucking island that they were on. And then until Ronnie got there, Stephanie, Ronnie's girlfriend, was running the block party. I'm like, people was paid she? for this? And I, I know what some... What do you mean she was running the block I party? I have nothing to do with this block party, and yet my name is sort of obviously attached to it. It's everyone from the Howard Stern show. So I'm sure the fans think I'm somehow involved or give my blessing to this thing. I fucking hate it. Excuse all my profanity, but I, it, it does piss me off. Well, and, it's appropriate to the block party. And now I guess Ronnie's girlfriend was in charge of the block party until Ronnie could get there, and she was up there reading poems. Oh, really? She's I, like Lucy. I, what? She's like Lucy, yeah. I want to yeah. go to the show. <laughs> Wah. I want to be in the show. Come on, Ricky. I want to be on the show. All right, honey. You can go. What's the matter? I don't know. I don't either. I, I I don't know. You're carrying on about yeah. me now. Block what party. What did I do? I hate it. I was there. I was there. I worked with you, and then I left. Yeah, I know. That's fine. That part was fine. But okay. Then, like Stephanie's. I just no. Hate the here's block what party. happened. I here's, hate it. I hate here's it. Here's what happened. Could you let me talk? <laughs> here's what happened. The block party was scheduled from Thursday to Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. It really Jamaica. annoys me. Okay. <laughs> I was with you working. We right. had we had like a little comedy show set up for fr uh, Thursday night. Right. So Stephanie had gone down on Wednesday with uh, some people, like our promoter guy and Richie from Howard TV to right. shoot it. And 
right. racial and all that. Okay. Yeah. So. So now she's part of this I, traveling circus. My no, I, this was this was not my idea. It was my promoter's idea. My promoter <laughs> to have to have uh, oh my, what a nightmare. My promoter Sequoia. Yeah. Well, let's let's end. When is the block party going to be done? Officially? Well, we're booked up till December already. Good. And let's and let's end it after that. Okay. Why That's do enough. We, why? Because why I you have hate to be it. Like and that? It's, it's a reflection on me. And stop using all my guys. I'm not Get using your own show. I stopped that. Enough. Of I told using you me. I stopped it. Good. Enough with the block party. Let's surely go back to doing his comedy show. You don't need to be doing that. What am I doing? Well, I'm doing his hosting with JD. Yeah. What am I doing? D- d- I just don't want my name associated with this shit. It's but terrible. Your na- it's not your name. It's Ronnie Munn Block Party. Yeah, I know. It has nothing to do with me. I didn't. S- it looks like I've. I, I don't know any other show that has this. I'm talking about television or radio. I can't name one. I thought you would like it. I hate it. The people loved it. D- I don't people care what the we people had doctors, love. lawyers, I dentists couldn't care. there. I couldn't care less what people the people People came love. from Canada saying how great it is. Yeah. You know, have people come down, <laughs> Good. hang out. I, I would prefer I don't this get little it. ancillary business. I don't get business. you, man. I really don't. I don't like the business off my radio show. But when I don't put together things like this for a reason. In other words, I could have years ago put together oh, a traveling I, circus. I know that. I don't do it because I've got... A tremendous pride in what I do. I didn't bargain for this Ronnie Block party. It's a it's a nightmare. Why is it? I, I don't because understand. it's an embarrassing I don't, I don't reflection why on it's me. It's a nightmare. It's a reba- an embarrassing reflection on me. Huh? I don't want a Ronnie Block party on my show. I don't like it. Okay. I don't. Uh, then we're done. The end of the year. All right. Oh, you're killing him. Mm. Well, who cares if I'm killing him? He <laughs> makes a great living you. being a, a doing. I, I I gave him a, a limo job. I have him a security job. I don't know what he I wants from me. I didn't say it wasn't. I, I know do, you want I to do be it on famous. My own, I do it do on my own. Time. Own, I do, do it on thing. my own time. Everybody here's got a, a, an ancillary business, <laughs> a, a side freak show off the business here. The show is the thing, not the Ronnie Block party. Well, I thought that was part of the show, kind of. J.D., I don't even think J.D. got any sleep on Sunday night. Came in here all fucking hang dog. That's my fault? S- whose fault is it? Mine? He, we left at 11 o'clock in the morning. How could he not get any sleep? I don't know. We got here, and I think he went right straight to work, and that was the end of it. Who needs that? I don't need it. I need a guy f- fresh and bushy-tailed for work. Work! I was here first thing in the morning yesterday. No, I know you were. I made sure we left early, made sure we got back. What happened? Your girlfriend now is the Ronnie Block Party? No, now I just re- told you what she happened. She got up and read a poem. Listen to this poem. Oh, no. All right, so I got a little surprise for you guys. <laughs> Who's paying for this? What did people pay to see <laughs> Stephanie read a poem? They, had, they loved it. I'm they loved you. it. I'm they, telling they you, loved. they loved the whole weekend. They loved that? They had a blast. I'm sure they did. They, they got had to hang out with people time. from the Howard Stern radio show. So what's, why is that bad? Uh, because I don't want to be responsible for it. But nothing, we didn't do anything bad. I, I don't know what you do. We I don't a, want we, to be, we had, I'm we not, a, it's not my, I don't want anything to do with we it. We ate dinner with the people. Yeah, we, I don't care. We sat at the pool go, with them. Go call someone up and have dinner with them. <laughs> be my guest. I don't get it, man. All right. I mean, God. The guys who work under you, like like um, uh, Terry, right. Terry the driver. Right. How about he starts going out and having Terry the driver parties? Okay. And then it reflects on you, and you don't know what's going on. All right. You you follow? Yeah, I follow. I you follow. want to be responsible for that? I don't. <laughs> I'm not responsible for you. We're not doing anything bad. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know these promoters. I don't know anything about it. It's not under my control. I have nothing to do with it. I know that. Remember the SEC came after me and I had nothing to do with it? Well, me too. But guess what? They came after me. And me also. Right. I don't want to be, I don't want to hear about the Ronnie Block Party. It's crazy. Ronnie Block, Robin, what do you think of this? Well, I hear what you're saying, and I understand that. I don't know how this all started. And I don't know how it became this big, either. I don't know. Shuli, you know, Shuli, I guess, has stand-up. Right. Which he always did. 
Yeah, but he was always involved with a group of people that were involved with. Yeah, and then, with it morphed, and then, it, and then that somehow fell apart. There was a falling out, and then they latched mm -hmm. on to the idea of Ronnie's block party. No, they didn't latch on. It, what? They didn't latch on. Yeah, I mean, they latched on. They was latched on to an idea. It they was got stupid, the, It was Scott the engineer's idea. Yeah. Well, <laughs> like every I'm bad idea comes anymore. from Scott, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, king of all blacks. You know, Howard, you got to stop that black party. I'll go, go no sweep shit. the streets, will Yo. you please? You and your big yeah, mouth. I don't understand. Maybe I we should stop your me. shit show it, because nobody listens to that crap. I think we did stop it. Good. No, we didn't stop it. Something happened. It's done, it man. It. You don't realize it. It's done. Something. You're over. Let me... Yeah, what's your I'm point over. of view on this? What, I mean, what is, first of all, you know what pisses me off? What does your girl have to do with it? Why does she sit home? Why does she sit home? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know what, 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 what this is. Sit home. Yeah, sit home. Sit home. You do, do something else. You don't have to be involved with what I'm doing. Mind your business. I would tell my wife that. Yeah, your wife. You lock her in a goddamn closet and eat on a... You fucking lick her feet. Weirdo. Friggin' weirdo. Yeah? Is it, hey, King Lobax, didn't you ask to be on the black party? Oh, he begged, man. He begged. I begged you? begged. I got the word that you begged to be on the block party. Oh, you're full of shit, man. I ain't never begged somebody in my life. Yeah, right. Yeah, you begged your daddy for all the money you got. So what? So what? I'm going to uh, so what? Yeah, so what? It's so annoying. Anyway, here's Ronnie's girlfriend at the block party reading Please. a poem. Can I go? I got to go bring a guest. Go in. ahead. Since Ronnie loves his poems, I wrote one of my own. <laughs> oh, this is good. <laughs> <clears throat> I was bartending away with plans in my hand. Sorry, I already fucked it up again. All right. Let me start that shit. She's obviously learning uh, the cursing from Ronnie. Right. This is the way you address the block party crowd. Over. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was bartending away with my plans in hand. Then suddenly intruded this man. When he makes me laugh, he brings me to tears. So what if this 33 years? <laughs> Instead of dreams of a wild bachelorette for life, it turned into dreams of a partner for life. <laughs> As he wooed me with his mysterious woman whispering ways, they engulfed me and I knew I would always have a place to stay. <laughs> I didn't think Ronnie's poetry could be made worse. <laughs> Somebody could do worse than him. <laughs> We're really not all that risque. Suddenly I missed the poem, Winter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems to be our forte. Just seem that way. I fucked that line up too, I'm sorry. <laughs> I Dutch oven him all the time. <laughs> Ronnie doesn't understand why I want this stopped. Oh my goodness. It's just, it's, it's nothing I really approve of. No. Well, it's hard to tell you don't approve. I really don't. Well, I understand that, but when you've got the the video cameras following you around, right? Yeah. And you know, you get to promote it on the show. It doesn't seem like you don't approve. Yeah. How, maybe if I stop mm. all the promotion. I mean, uh, yesterday I tuned in. I hear Ronnie's block party, Lisa G's book. There's a couple other things. Gary's TV show. Who else do we have? endless the only guy i'm suddenly not angry with is benji <laughs> <laughs> somehow <laughs> somehow he, him him i like he's probably thinking up something right now to piss you off yeah how how come he can't come up with something to piss me <laughs> off <laughs> suddenly he's the model employee yeah well this is my own doing i kind of like it whenever somebody asks me like hey can we go do this and i go i, I don't want to you know i don't want to say no but, you know, other shows, they don't have access. Like, like Letterman's organization, y you can't get to Letterman to even ask him. The, the, the you know, Rob Burnett a a is the acting prick, and he goes, fuck you, are you crazy? We're on the you David Letterman are show. coming up and saying, I want to be uh, on the Biff block party? Yeah, I no. The Biff block no, they're afraid to. But around here, everyone has access to me, and they're like, hey, do you care? And then I, and I'm like this nice guy that goes, yeah, I guess it's okay. You know. 
I mean, surely going out and doing stand-up on his own time, I don't care. You know, and, and, and all the promotion that goes on and go see this one and that one. I'm going to stop it all. You know, it's enough. It's too much. Right? If you don't like it. Yeah, but, and like, I shouldn't even be, like, Letterman doesn't have this in his day. Like, he just goes to work, and everyone shits their pants when he shows up. <laughs> I'm trying to get, like, a Rob Burnett type to do that for me. You want Gary to be the Rob Burnett, but Gary has projects. <laughs> right. Ga how can Gary tell people no? As soon as he sees an opportunity, he plunks right into it. I, I, listen, Howard, I would just say one thing, and I'm not trying to... You know, Rob's off doing movies and TV shows Yeah, I know, as, I know. Well. I know. I know. But he's not on Letterman promoting it. I noticed Dave didn't uh, have him on as a guest. If, did you follow that? Uh, I guess. Yeah. Okay. You guess or you know? I know Dave didn't have him on. Yeah, Dave didn't even show up at the fucking premiere of that movie. He didn't want anything to do with it. But I know he was on, like, CBS early show. He wasn't yeah, on a lot of Yeah, shows. exactly. And guess who didn't like it? Dave. Our airwaves are cluttered with fucking projects. <laughs> you know? But it's always been this way. I know. I'm changing it, though. Today. Today, the new rule right. is... See, I shouldn't even have to make the new rule. Like, that's my executive producer's job. He should be cleaning all this shit up. And I should be like, oh, this is terrible what Gary's doing. <laughs> I have a new project for everyone if they want to be in on it. It's called the Howard Stern Show. Oh, boy, that's so boring. <laughs> Why should we just be involved in that? Uh. Yes, Manny, you're on the air. Morning, everybody. Hey. <laughs> uh, two things real quick. Um, Gary definitely sounds pretentious, and I, I don't have, I don't call my CD collection 600 pieces of plastic. <laughs> oh, you should. I mean, I, I think How I'm many pieces of plastic do you have? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go home and count. Yeah, I, I, and I also have uh, the 496 individual files on my iPod as well. <laughs> nice. Yes, so. Thank you, Robin, Manny. Robin, come back to the studio, please. All right. All right. As soon as she can. <laughs> I, uh... I didn't even want to talk about this. I, I have so many other things to talk about, Robin. Uh, yeah, it got started because I guess you and Gary got into it. Yeah, over pieces, pieces of, of vinyl. vinyl. Crazy, right? You know, we talk so much about how, you know, that pretentious language pops up, like the radio language, and then he goes out and does it. Yeah. <laughs> like, you want to be a collector of records, which I think is fine, you know, if you want to do that, but... Mm -hmm. Don't come up with your special lingo, pieces <laughs> of vinyl. How many pieces of vinyl do you own? I mean, it's ridiculous. And then when I challenge him on it, he gets mad at me. Hey, Robin, you want to talk about pretentious? Let's get fucking vegetated. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's so You're hurt. funny. <laughs> <laughs> he's angry with us. I know. <laughs> She doesn't go around saying, uh, how many pieces of vegetables did I eat today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would this be a good time to start planning the final eight months of, of the no. party in extravagant no. fashion? In December, really, the really last show is over, and that's it. Goodbye. Okay? I'm not planning anything. We're booked till the end of the year. It's greatly upset. Oh, stop with no, your no, fucking you look, words, you man. What is so wrong with you? Right now. Why is the block party so important to you? It's not. I don't give a shit. I'll if cancel it right now. They can cancel every date. I don't care. Okay, let's do it. Go ahead. Let's do it. What are you doing? What, what do you got to do with it? You clearly it? don't mean that. It's important. Cancel it right now. The block party is, is part Four of Four sold out dying. shows in Boston in two weeks. It's Let in me your cancel. blood, Mr. I, Munn. Cancel more. Go ahead. I don't give a Ronnie, what will you do with all this... Ronnie, what will you do with all this spare time, with all these free weekends? Have fun with my girlfriend. Ronnie, the last question, real quick. Has Howard given you enough? Like he said, he gave you a job, a, a, a business. A, I guess he hasn't given living. you enough because you're breaking my balls. 
No, you haven't given me enough. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not giving you shit. No, but uh, why? I haven't give, I'm not giving you shit. Why do you yearn for more on the weekends? Hasn't he given you enough? I, hey, listen. We like doing it. I have a good time. If it's over, it's over. Fine. In your opinion, is there oh any way God, this can be saved? Oh, my God. He goes on and on. He doesn't stop. Can, you, can this party be saved? Or is this party over? Go and ask him. Go ahead. Walk in, in there, big opinion. shot. No, no, no be a big shot. Let me see what a big shot you are. Go in there. You're the, you're the interviewer here. Go in there and ask him if the fucking thing is really over. Well, Ronnie, that would, Go be, ahead. That would be silly. Why would it be silly? Because he's in the middle of being on the air. You're not on the but air. But he's right. talking about me and my block party. You're supposed to be interviewing me about that. And that's what I'm doing. Well, you're trying to get the full... Why would I go in the studio you're trying to get the full scoop. You. No, you're trying to get the full scoop. I'm trying to get your opinion. Is it really over? Go no, ask him. Try to bait go me ask him if it's really Mr. over. Mr. Mondal, okay. every time. All right, goodbye. Let me ask... It's over. Can I, go I ahead, just want to... No, I want to elaborate on something Greg said earlier, because I don't know if you got the question. Greg was saying, if the block party's going to end in December, yes. why not between now and then just do huge extravaganzas and really make it count? Because we have shows booked all the way to the end of the year, and I'm doing one a month, and that's it. I'm not adding any more on. The, sh the shows that we have booked already till the end of the year are all pretty, pretty big venues, so I'm happy with it, and that's it. So if it's over in December, it's over. Hey, by the way, uh, before we, did you watch the? Um, did you watch any of the video? I, it's mostly visual. Did you watch the stuff from the uh, Jamaica trip? The, the weirdest, the weirdest thing is. You know, Ronnie didn't get there, so Stephanie's on stage. Stephanie's doing the show now. She was Ronnie, because Ronnie was a day late, and, and she's doing a poem, and it's like long and weird. I, I, but I put the poem on. Okay. Towards the end, she says, you know, maybe one day he'll make me his wife. <laughs> like, I think it, she's lucky. You know what that's like? That's <laughs> I, I, I got to think of a better analogy, because she's dead, and she's sort of a Satan now, but it's like, if you pay to see McCartney, although Ronnie's on McCartney, and you got Linda McCartney. Yeah, but right. that's not even right, because... Ronnie's no Paul McCartney. Right, right. <laughs> well, everyone's got these projects. I've got superstars surrounding me. I'm looking for somebody who isn't a superstar. I turned on the news yesterday. Oh, every 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 newscast I hear is Lisa G's book. You better buy Lisa G's book, or <laughs> or, um, or or we'll never stop hearing about it. I go, what what what, is, what, what do we have anybody here who just kind of does the show, <laughs> or am I nuts? A Ronnie's block party going to Jamaica. Mm. I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, that's getting out of hand. With Beetlejuice and, oh, my God. like an extravaganza meanwhile ronnie was with me at america's got talent then he had to jet off to get to this fucking island that they were on and then until ronnie got there stephanie ronnie's girlfriend was running the block party i'm like was people she? paid for this and i, I know some mean she was running the block i party? have nothing to do with this block party and yet my name is sort of obviously attached to it's everyone from the howard stern show so i'm sure the fans think i'm somehow involved or give my blessing to this thing i fucking hate it Excuse all my profanity, but I, it, it does piss me off. Well, and, it's appropriate to the block party. And now I guess Ronnie's girlfriend was in charge of the block party until Ronnie could get there, and she was up there reading poems. Oh, really? She's all right, like so Lucy. I, what? She's like Lucy, yeah. She's his daddy, I want to yeah. go to the show. <laughs> Wah. I want to be in the show. Come on, Ricky. I want to be on the show. All right, honey. You can go. What's the matter? I don't know. I don't either. I, I I don't know. You're carrying on about yeah. me now. Block what party. did I do? I hate it. <laughs> I was there. I was there. I worked with you, and then I left. Yeah, I know. That's fine. That part was fine. But okay. Care. There. I couldn't care less what people, the people came love. from Canada saying how great it is. Yeah. You know, have people come down. <laughs> Good. Hang out. I, I would prefer I don't this get little it. ancillary I don't get business. You, man. I really don't. I don't like the business off my radio show. But when I don't put together things like this for a reason. In other words, I could have years ago put together oh, a traveling I, circus. I know that. I don't do it because I've got 
a tremendous pride in what I do. I didn't bargain for this Ronnie Block party. It's a it's a nightmare. Why is it? I, I don't because understand. it's an embarrassing I don't, I don't reflection why on it's me. It's a nightmare. It's a re- ba- an embarrassing reflection on me. Huh? I don't want a Ronnie Block party on my show. I don't like it. Okay. I don't. Uh, then we're done. The end of the year. All right. Oh, you're killing him. Well, who cares if I'm killing him? He <laughs> makes a great living you. being a, a doing. I, I I gave him a, a limo job. I have him a security job. I don't know what he I wants from me. I didn't say it wasn't. I, I know do, you want I to do be it on famous. My own, I do it do on my own. own time. I do, do it on my thing. own time. Everybody here's got a, a, an ancillary business, <laughs> a, a side freak show off the business here. The show is the thing, not the Ronnie Block party. Well, I thought that was part of the show, kind of. J.D., I don't even think J.D. got any sleep on Sunday night. Came in here all fucking hang dog. That's my fault? S- whose fault is it, mine? He, we left at 11 o'clock in the morning. How could he not get any sleep? I don't know. We got, like, Stephanie's... I just no, hate the No, here's what party. happened. I here's, hate it. I hate here's it. Here's what happened. Could you let me talk? <laughs> here's what happened. <laughs> the block party was scheduled from Thursday to Sunday. Yeah, yeah. It really annoys me. Okay. <laughs> I was with you working. We right. had we had like a little comedy show s- set up for fr- uh, Thursday night. Right. So Stephanie had gone down on Wednesday with uh, some people, like our promoter guy and Richie from Howard TV, to right. shoot it, and right. Rachel and all that. Okay. Yeah. So. So now she's part of the traveling circus. My, no, I, this was this was not my idea. It was my promoter's idea. My promoter <laughs> to have to have her. Oh my, what a nightmare! My promoter, Sequoia. Yeah. Well, let's let's end. When is the block party going to be done? Officially? Well, we're booked up till December already. Good. And let's and let's end it after that. Okay. Why That's do enough. We, why? Because why I hate be it. Like and that? It's, it's a reflection on me. And stop using all my guys. I'm not Get using your own. Show. I stopped that. Enough. Of I using told me. you I stopped it. Good. Enough with the block party. Let's surely go back to doing his comedy show. You don't need to be doing that. What am I doing? Well, I'm doing his hosting with JD. Yeah. What am I doing? D- d- I just don't want my name associated with this shit. It's but terrible. Your na- it's not your name. It's Ronnie Munn Block Party. Yeah, I know. It has nothing to do with me. I didn't. S- it looks like I've. I, I don't know any other show that has this. I'm talking about television or radio. I can't name one. I thought you would like it. I hate it. The people loved it. D- the I don't care what the we people had doctors, love. lawyers, I dentists. I couldn't and I think he went right straight to work, and that was the end of it. Who needs that? I don't need it. I need a guy f- fresh and bushy-tailed for work. Work! I was here first thing in the morning yesterday. No, I know you were. I made sure we left early, made sure we got back. What happened? Your girlfriend now is the Ronnie Block party? No, now I just re- told you what she happened. She got up and read a poem. Listen to this poem. Oh, no. All right, so I got a little surprise for you guys. Who's paying for this? What did people pay to see <laughs> Stephanie read a poem? They, ha- they loved it. I'm they loved you. it. I'm they telling they you, loved they it. loved the whole weekend. They loved that? They had a blast. I'm sure they did. They, they got had to hang out with people time. from the Howard Stern radio show. So what's, why is that bad? Uh, because I don't want to be responsible for it. But nothing, we didn't do anything bad. I, I don't know what you do. We I had don't a, want we, to be, we had, I'm we not, a, it's not my, I don't want anything to do with we it. We ate dinner with the people. Yeah, we, I don't care. We sat at the pool go, with them. Go call someone up and have dinner with them. <laughs> be my guest. I don't, I don't get it, man. All right. I mean, God. The guys who work under you, like like um, uh, Terry, right. Terry the driver. Right. How about he starts going out and having Terry the driver parties. Okay. And then it reflects on you, and you don't know what's going on. All right. You, you follow? Yeah, I follow. I you want to be responsible for that? Hey, everybody, good morning. Uh, just having a nervous breakdown, that's all. Baba Booey made me crazy already, and the show hasn't even started. What is the what, what goes on when I leave here? What are the conversations that go on? Why is there such miscommunication? I have a... Where is Richie the engineer with my CD? I'm down to one CD player today. <laughs> he took out my CD player. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that conversation from over here. It was unbelievable. It was who's on first? I know. <laughs> I come in today to do the show. I should just walk the hell out. 
I, I have no balls. <laughs> why would you take out my CD player with, and why would you do that and take it out with nothing? I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what good does that do me? I know. Howard, I cannot control this guy. I swear, I, I talked to Tom. Yeah, but maybe I had a you guys. Conversation with him that was very clear. That, and in fact, the exact words were: "The particular unit he put in does not work for us because it doesn't work the way we need it. So please don't do that." So where where is my CD player? I know. Probably in his office. Well, why didn't he put it back in? I didn't even know he took he's it. Gotta, out. He's got to. He's someone's got to get out of my life. Either him or you. Well, I, I'm voting for him. All right, because because either you can't communicate with people. I communicated with him fine, Howard. I told him that that exact unit that's there right now so doesn't what is work this, for us. What does he hate me? Is this a passive aggressive move to take out my CD player? He just think he knows that we were unhappy with the one that was there, and I guess he felt this one was better. But how could it be better if I can't use it? I don't I don't understand that either. I know, Jackie. What? I mean, he put in a CD player that I can't use. He thinks you can use it. You just have to have eight arms. Oh, I see. I see. Tell him thanks for leaving the microphone here for me. Hey, <laughs> vey. I like that. Yeah, yeah, these guys. It's you know I, I'm one of the few guys in the industry that uh, works his own equipment. I, I don't like to have an engineer in here working my equipment. I don't like it. I like to do my own thing. But uh, you, you got to have something that's easy to use. I can quickly, I mean, and you should see the obstacles they throw at me every day. You don't even know. You don't even know. I deserve five times what I get paid. Just for labor alone. Yeah, just for, just for the mental anguish. <laughs> I came in here today, I'm looking, I'm going, what's that hole over there? Where, what happened to my CD player? How do I play CDs today? So they took it out completely? Yeah, yeah. There's no CD player. There's no CD player. We could get by. Oh, and then Gary's like, well, you just for today. And oh. Just today, well. Uh, we're off for a week. He couldn't wait a <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. This is what I mean. Well, I, I know you understand, but well, it's what wrong. What you understand? What could you understand? Un I'm the one who got to do the show. You understand, but I'm stuck. <laughs> but, but, how I understand? I communicated to him. Don't perfectly. let him touch anything unless you're standing here watching him. I mean, we from had, now on, from now on, I have a new rule. We I'm, even looked through Howard. We even looked through some CD players mm -hmm. because the one that he was going to get you yeah. was exactly he was, had them on order was exactly like the ones you have now. Good, except you don't put a jewel case in. And I said, no, I don't like those. I don't want the ones with the button that turns. Yeah. I want something with a drawer that comes out that's really easy and quick. And we looked over some. No, I don't like out. this one. This is no. No, good. no, no. But that, but but I explained that. Yeah. Well, here here here. Listen to me. Let me look at the. Let me look at these uh, CD players. And from now on, when he touches anything, you stand there with him. Okay. So someone's accountable. Whack his knuckles. Yeah, don't allow him to touch anything without you standing there. Okay. So because this is ridiculous. What kind of guy leaves me with one CD player? But it, but he's I mean, he's got a whole week to do it. Why would he do it this week? Why, why, would he, why would he change everything here? Well, because I was told yesterday that you wanted something fixed by today. That was yeah. the carts. Yeah. No, no, no. Was no, the I want, no, no. I want a... No. Yesterday I said I need a CD player that just plays CDs without putting them in cases so right. that we can get the stuff fast. And the way Casey told to me was that you were so upset you wanted something replaced by, you know, by today, which is fine if we have the right thing. Well, yeah. But you, you weren't you talking just, about the CD players yesterday that you said. No, you I said to him, I said, I need a new CD player. I need one that works. This one doesn't even work. But it's better than nothing. Why would you take out what... All right, listen, I'm boring well, the audience. I, you know, the thing that bothers me is yeah. that that tirade was about cart machines that don't work. No, no, no. It, it was a tirade about... No, Robin, Robin. We were doing the news well, when wrong. that happened. Yeah, you're no, no. Wrong, the Robin. cart machine is a different tirade. I, yeah. I gave a different tirade about the CD off players. Off-the-air when off you were, the when oh, you were in here. this was an off-the-air yeah. tirade. Yeah. yeah. But the cart machine's not fixed either. Yeah. No, that is fixed. That apparently was the orange juice that spilled into it on the board. Uh, right. That I found out. <laughs> Whatever. I know. I, I, right. We're always the problem. <laughs> it was a sticky button, but that's fixed. Right, okay. But here's the deal. I need a CD player today that works. That's the problem. You go home, everyone goes home, and Richie's no, doing his thing, and, I have and all I know is I've got no CD player. Well, we have one that works. And from now on, though, when Richie does his work, you be here. Okay. I mean, if he does it at 10 o'clock at night, be here. No, again, no one is allowed to leave. Everybody watch each other. But like you have the, one like that the works. Gestapo. You have what? one that works. It's not like you don't have any. No, no, no. Don't keep saying no, that. I, I know I have one that works. But I don't, I don't want, want one that works. I don't I want need you to, two I CD don't, players. I, I don't want you to feel you don't have anything. Yeah. I know what I have. <laughs> okay. I, I don't need sure. you to explain to me. I no, I'm sure. sure. I'm sure what I have. I have nothing. 
I have nothing and no one. I'm an island. I'm a man on his own. I'm swimming in the ocean and the sharks are circling. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I don't know what goes on in these conversations. I who have nothing. I who... How does that song go? I who I, have nothing. I who have nothing. I, I who have no one stand before you. <laughs> who wrote that? Because that guy's a genius. <laughs> I who have nothing. He must know me. All right. Thank you, Baba Buhai. We're going to take a break. And then I'm going to... You know why they call it a break? Because you need to break something. I need to break something. So during the break, I am going to break something. <laughs> and Tom Chiasano, thanks again for your help. Today, I will do the following show without a CD player, and I will read the same live commercials in the identical fashion that I did yesterday. Because you're such a moron. <laughs> Every day, the same stupid stuff. Imagine taking out the CD player, leaving me with no CD but player. Where did that CD player come from? Yeah, where is my other CD player that they took out? I don't know. I would Who guess knows? it's in his office somewhere. Oh. Could throw it out the window. Maybe it'll hit me in the head when I go downstairs later. <laughs> yes, the <to> fall. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then I'll be done. Uh, who knows where anything is? All right, it's... Um, I don't even know what time it is. I, I lost the use of my clock. Where is my clock? Oh, there it is. It's uh, 23 minutes past the hour. According to the digit clock on my board. But then again, the clock... On the wall says 24 minutes past the hour. Mm. Time is irrelevant here. I love it. All right, I'm in a ragged out mood. <laughs> We're just, only on the radio. It doesn't have to be exact. You don't need the... It's an approximate time <laughs> check. Somewhere in there is... And the now, an approximate time check. <laughs> mm. It's that's endless. That's me. <laughs> what is it, John? I was just going to get in for you. I was just going to... You're going to get in for me? Getting in for you? Yeah, some, some guy called up his... Uh, what are you going to do? You don't even know how to work this, do you? You know how to work my computer? I don't know where your mouse is. Here's the mouse. Oh, it's in the middle of... Uh, it, you, it, oh, you guys are annoying me. You're all retarded. I know you're trying to help. But it's just... You know what helps? If you sat here for two or three hours after the show one day and worked my computer and, and got really familiar with it, so that when you came in here, you weren't fiddling around with it. See, that would help. Now i got to sit and watch you try and work this. Is there a click button? Or try to Is there a work. click button? No, no, there, there, there. no, no that, that's the wrong side, John. John, 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 please, oh, please. You're killing right, me. Sorry. You're sorry killing me. You don't even know how to do it. I'll try this, try, try this button. Uh, let me see. Where's, where's, the click where's, the click where's the click button? You see, you see, I got a bunch of nincompoops working here. What, what, what do you say? I'm just trying to help you, man. No, you're trying to help me, but it's not really a help. <laughs> it's not really a help. If you thought about stuff two seconds in advance, then you'd be helping me. <laughs> He's gonna figure out how to work my computer while I'm, I'm on the air. I'm trying to save you from drowning while being an anchor. Right. <laughs> right. He's the anchor who's trying to save me from drowning. Anyway, uh, now there was some guy who called us. He's he got this internet website. I love the internet. It's so great. You're this, right. Yeah. Thanks. Let me see. Where's the check? I don't. Know. Well, what's he got on there? Uh, this guy's got his wife on there, who's real hot. Oh Is she, it interactive? Can you make her do things? Now what do I do, John? She's not doing anything. That's the, where's the camera? See yeah, how you're no help? Well, uh -oh. pick him up now. He'll tell you what, you know, what to do. Oh, yeah, I, oh, I should now pick him up? Well, that's, I thought that's the whole I, point. I, you got to talk I, to him, right? I, 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 uh, this is how he told me. Hey, go to the camera. You, you, didn't, you didn't get the... Get out of here! Get out! Member get out! Care, member, yeah, care. member care, but why did you do that? Why are you waiting for me to figure it out? I'm on the air! Sorry. You guys gotta be look. It, oh no, it ain't working. Uh, no, no, no. You ain't working. That's the problem. Get out of here. Get tell the guy to hang up. I can't deal with you. You're retarded. It's all it's all off now. You lost him. It's just it's he's retarded. John is retarded. I, I'm just trying to. Just trying to help. Just trying to help, but but they all bother me here. Everybody <laughs> bothers me. They come in. Uh, there's a guy uh, uh, on the air, and uh, and he his wife does hot sex on the internet. She wants to do it for you. Okay, John, put it through. Uh, how do you work the mouse? How do you work the, uh, uh, the, the the computer? I'm just trying to help. Okay. Then he gets on, and, he go, and then and then there's nothing going on. There's no camera. There's nothing. Uh, 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 but, but, but but now go pick the guy up. He'll tell you what to do. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, people will sit by the radio while I get a training well, you course. You get instructions, yes. And, 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 and I'm just trying to help. Why are you mad? Why are you mad at me? You, you ever tune into a television show, John, and see and see anything like that, where the host is busy talking to his staff while they're idiots? <laughs>
<laughs> where's the mouse? I mean, where's the? You're gonna ask me while I'm on the air where my mouse is? I don't see the mouse. Where's the click? Where's the click? Then he clicks the wrong side. He clicks the left side instead of the. the he clicks the right side instead of the left side, and then menus start coming up. Oh no! And he's like, "What's that?" Like he's never seen a menu before. Surprise! What's that? What's that? Just trying to help. He's just trying to help me. He's helping me do what? Now pick up the guy. <laughs> yeah, pick up the guy. And now, now I'm on uh, authorization required. Server, can I verify? And oh my god! Yeah, it's just it's a disaster. <laughs> oh, he's back! Uh oh, he's back! Oh, Here's I, my helper. I, I, I Come help me some I, more. I I I I, 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 I talked to him. I, I think what you got. <laughs> yeah, but we spent ten minutes Howard, now. Howard, Howard, you're in a bad mood today. No, I'm not in a bad mood, John. I'm a bad mood because you make just, me in a bad mood. Listen. Don't blame it on my mood. Okay, then, That's sorry. an obnoxious sorry. comment. I was in a fine mood when I walked in today. Right, listen to me. I come in. Gary's removed. Uh, Gary's communication skills are so scary that. The, the, Why are they scary? Wait a minute. Why I communicated perfectly to the guy. Could Once you, again. You did what you wanted. Once again. No, trust in me. No, once again. You have now said it's someone else's fault. Fine, I agree with you. It's someone else's fault. I told but it's somehow when you get involved, people don't communicate. Did you ever notice that? No, I didn't notice that, Howard. Everything you do is perfect and fine. I'll go f my... Ooh. Well, that's interesting. Can we do see? it? And put a camera on it when you do it. <laughs> All I know is I come in, I'm missing a, a CD player. And, but, but of course, he has nothing to do with it. No one has anything to do with it. He communicated perfectly. It just didn't turn out right. Right. So check the guy's work. H Howard, I didn't even know the guy was doing any work. Oh. I didn't know that he was going to change anything. We had a, The last discussion we had was we had looked over some CD players that we were interested in. Right. And we were gonna, he was going to get me paperwork on them so I could look at them and decide which one we wanted to order. All right. So then in your mind, you told him not to do anything. That's right. How do you know you told him? Because we discussed it. Yeah, we had a conversation. How do you know he understands you? I thought Casey... Howard, geez, I don't know. You stand there, and, and, and he says, these are what we have, and I will go, okay, let's talk about it tomorrow. We'll look at the paperwork. We'll just leave it. That's what you think it went like. But for well, some well, reason, he misunderstands you, know you. You probably don't need me anymore because I I'm don't. a retard. You are. He, he misunderstands you. I get You should call him and say, how is it that I did not communicate to you properly? How did I wind up without a cart machine today or a CD player today? I'm not saying that he. I'm not saying there's not something wrong with him, but there's something wrong with you too. You have this with a lot of people. <laughs> this is not the only guy you're having communication problems with. What? Am I right? Huh? <laughs> Doesn't he tell you to do stuff and then you don't know what he's talking about? Speak up. Are, are you here? I choose to not get involved. Yes. I'm just trying to find the... Oh, 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 oh. I just... All I know is I come in, I'm missing equipment. But Gary communicates perfectly. Yeah. But everything Gary. goes fine. I did, I did hear yeah, Gary. Robin, you communicate perfectly, too. Like when you got it wrong this morning or anytime you get a news story wrong, which almost never no, happens. what I said <laughs> happened, happened. I, I didn't know about an off-the-air conversation. Then shut up. Oh. No, that's why, a would you, why would you stick your nose into something deal. you don't know about? Shut up. The story of your life. Sticking your nose into stuff you don't know about. Just shut up. Just uh, listen, Robin. Why don't you just get everything just right? Why don't I monitor up. your every newscast well, until I see every single thing that you get right? Oh. Would you like me, to, Robin? Every time you get something wrong, now this button's going on. Shut and believe me, it'll be biased what I find on you. Shut up. <laughs> My producer's beating up a girl now. Wow. Oh. Robin hasn't been a girl for 25 years. Shut <laughs> up. No, here, no, here's my point. Here's my point. What? I don't have a CD player today. That's all my point is. That somehow a conversation occurs between my producer and an engineer, and both of them don't understand each other. That's all my concern is. And you, John, my concern with you is, is that you come in here fumfering around how, trying to work a computer, how, and you're how, like, how, I'm just trying really to help. You're not, you're not you helping. Can really tell the story how it happened? No. I had about 30 seconds to ask if you were interested. John. When you said you were, I ran out, got the guy's password, ran back. By the time right. I ran back, you were on the air. Right. So, all right. So why don't you train yourself on my computer and learn where I the mean, mouse is? I know how to work a computer. I do it in the, in, in the back office all Badly. Day. Okay, get that one You do it perfectly. I, don't, I mean, so... W w where's your mouse? I just, I'm on the air. I can't I know, show you my mouse. You don't have a mouse that I'm, that I'm accustomed to. Where, where's the thing you click with? <laughs> it's like... The obvious question, why didn't you bring the password when you came in? Why was The you? obvious question, Jack, is I didn't even know if Howard would be interested, so I didn't get the guy's password yet. I, I was asking him if he's interested. When he's interested, then I'll get the password, jackass.
<laughs> and uh, Howard, you just do it next break. And, 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 and yeah. obviously, yeah. I mean, why are you bothering me with it? Why are you trying to cram it into the first break? You're not prepared. Yeah, if she's hot, but we'll, we'll do it. So we'll do it the next break. Another All right, break. I'm trying to get. I didn't know you were going to get excited. All right, excited. you leave. Howard, the other thing is, go talk to Gary. I get a little nervous when I'm when I'm trying to work on it. It's like it's like you know under the gun, right? Let me hear John. I can't. It's like you're under the gun when you you say, I know you're in a bad mood already, so I'm trying to get. I'm not in a bad mood. Well, I heard you yelling at Gary before, so I know you. Well, I'm yelling at Gary because I'm. As, as competent as he is, and he is very competent, for some reason, things happen when I'm not here, where people don't communicate with one another. And I walk in, and I, have my, I don't have the tools to produce the top quality program that my audience expects. My audience expects a lot from me, and I'm ready to deliver. But I must have the tools. I must have them, John. Go back and tell everyone in the office, I need the tools. What, do, what, 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 what are you going to tell everyone? Listen, everybody, uh, Howard needs the tools. <laughs> right, good, <laughs> right. Where's Thank you, you're my emissary. <laughs> you, you want, you want a, a, a cookie? Maybe, maybe I could go find some somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I agree, you should have your CD player. It's, it's, it isn't right for you to have your CD player. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Thank you. with you. All right. Well, you and Gary go discuss it. Let him deal with you. That's why I hired him to deal with you. No, they'll fight. Yeah. But you know what amazes me is, is Back nobody ever gets Richie on the phone. Like Richie gets to sleep and get to. But well, Robert, it's to pointless now to get Richie on the phone because it can't. It, Howard even said, oh, "Let's replace me. it." I said, "Do you want Richie in here for an hour while we're doing the show?" It's not pointless. about him being here. And what, what is it about, Robin? It's about him being uncomfortable, too. Maybe because nothing ever goes back to him. He doesn't care whether he gets it right or not. Well, I will talk to our general manager. That is the process, as I am supposed to. And that's how it works. And then, you know, nobody ever that. gets the right. Uh, no, and the, real pro and the real problem is that our general manager, and, and this is in defense of Gary, is a complete idiot. <laughs> and seriously, doesn't, oh, doesn't know how to manage on his own. He is a puppet for Mel. Mel is the guy. And for some, well, this is a weird loop to have to go through. Yeah, it's an endless, tire, tiring loop. His lack of prowess could fill volumes. <laughs> <laughs> His lack of management ability could fill uh, volumes. Absolutely. You know, no offense. He's a great guy, no. and I wish him good health. Is Tom a dick? But yes. he really should move to another station. He, he, he should run another station. <laughs> and he doesn't have Eye of the Tiger. He doesn't have to stick up for the show or the station. And he's not, he's not, a, he's not, a, he's not a winner. How did he go to another station he's with very, those kind of credentials? Yeah, he's a laid-back guy. What will be, will be. Que sera, sera. Tom Chiasano is a laid-back guy. And I like that. He's going to live a long life. He's going to be relaxed. But uh, he's a total boob. No offense. No, I've seen him be very <laughs> aggressive. One day, Jackie was having a conversation with him about something that had to do with golf. Right. So that he's tournament. passionate about. So he well, was in. I, I apologize. He immediately gets got, animated. Mm. That's right. Jackie asked him a question. He said, well, I was the best player there. Yeah, no, he should be running a golf club. <laughs> he should run a, what do we call that, a golfing resort. Yeah. Yeah, that he'd be good at. You should use graphite clubs because yeah. you get longer trajectory. Right. But I think they've had him here so long that uh, they don't know what to do with him. And uh, look, he's a very nice man. He's the sweetest guy you'll ever meet. But, you know, I got to get a guy in here. golf player. Yeah. I got a guy in here who, you got to get a guy in here who knows how to win. I need a winner. I need a guy who's so vicious. He's such a tiger. I need a guy with a little juice in his tank. This is a guy, he's going to be here 100 years from now. Running on empty. You're right. It's time. It's switch it up. <laughs> Bring in a young guy. Bring in a guy who's got some oomph. Well, then they got to move Tom up somewhere. Where's it for him to go? That's not my problem. Move him up and out. <laughs> <laughs> this is my general manager. This guy, this guy can break a sweat. If it, if, only on the golf course. I was the best golfer there. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's important. Oh, I mean, you should have heard the roar that came out of And he walks around, he's looking. He's in my office looking for desserts or handing out desserts. I don't he's need the Easter bunny. Cakes to work. I don't want the cakes to work. I don't need the Easter bunny <laughs> spreading goodwill. I need a goddamn tiger on my team. Who wants a lemon tart? Right. <laughs> Making cardboard golf clubs. That was it. That was the day I shut down. I just said, I'm out of here. I, I'm going to come into work and mind my own business. 
could caught the guy in the back making a cardboard out of cardboard toilet paper rolls. Yeah, he was piecing club. together uh, tubes. Yeah. I said, so, all right, what am I going to do? I'm in this alone. I got a guy. You know, if, I saw, if you saw the mental institution, a guy sitting there making cardboard golf clubs, you'd lock him up for another 10 years. I, I can't believe this. Yeah, well, I also made a paper mache golf cart. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what am I going to do with this guy? I mean, I, I'm in here needing course. help, and I got a guy who's fantasizing about being a professional golf player. Who cares about that golf? I would end that golf today. I would... I would be if I was the president, I ban golf. <laughs> what do you think of that? And I'm telling you, the productivity at the radio, the nation's radio station, doesn't go up. <laughs> I can't take it. That with a, that golf. If it was a sitcom and they had the general manager making a golf club out of cardboard, you, say, you, you wouldn't know, believe it. No, no you know that no guy would do that on company <laughs> time. That's impossible. <laughs> go back. Rewrite it. Uh. And by the way, I'm wearing a white shirt today, Ooh. and you'll notice that's bad on camera, but I have to take my shirt off because we can't solve the heat problem in here. Oh. <laughs> See? I have to take off the other shirt. I don't care. I'm sweating. Oh, absolutely. Right. All right. Let's drop it now. Everybody knows what's going on here now. I've let out our dirty laundry. <laughs> I've, I've, is the show over yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> is the show over? <laughs> Unbelievable. And I can spend an hour looking for my table dance card again. <laughs> Every day the same stupid routine. <laughs> I say keep it in the keep it in the card machine. No, I can't do that. It's it's, it's a nightmare in here. No, oh, here's my other assistant. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? We, we wrote it in bright red for you. Uh, we wrote it in bright red. Just leave it in the card machine. Going long. That's what I want. Ah. Can, you don't have one. I'll put it over oh, it's there. over there. Yeah, I don't know why it's over there. That's all. The one card I need. It's in the cart machine in Richie's office. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sam, hi. You're on the air. Hey, why are you guys yelling at uh, at uh, Gary for all this? I apologize. I, I should be doing this uh, on a, on a, at another date at another time. I had a whole bunch of things to talk about and I got sidetracked. I apologize to you. To me? Yes. Well, I'm just telling you to not deal with Gary. Oh, I, I, well, I of course not. Nobody, no, I shouldn't yell at anyone. You're right. I, I should meditate. Okay. Let's go to Mike. Mike, you're on the air. You're the guy with the uh, website? Yeah, Howard. Yeah, before I recommend this to my audience, let me take a look. Now, this is your wife that I'm looking at a picture of? Right. Mm -hmm. How she long seems... have you been married? Um, since 91. Yeah, she seems like a lovely girl. We've been together since, uh... Uh, she was 16. Oh, my. Was it? We're in uh, 86. You guys must be bored with each other because... She was a virgin. She's a virgin? How well, old were you? Um, I just... Th uh, 32. 32, all right. Yeah, she's uh -huh. 30. She's 30. She's hot. Yeah, yeah. Now, what did you do? You set up a website where you have sex with your wife? Well, basically, I just saw her... So I used to, you know, just be aware, just like everybody else. And, uh, you know, I said... You're better than these girls on here. Now, I, how do I? I'm, I'm in the member area. How do I? Pardon the expression. How do I? How do I get to see you and your wife have sex? What do I click on? Um, are you on the member cam? I'm on member. I click member cam. I can't get in. Should I click that? All right, watch what happens. Oh, there's another pa does the well, pass. Well, let me see. Maybe I'll get in. Again? Yeah. You know, I got the password again. Yeah, it's screwed up. We gotta fix that. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're new at this, really. I mean, yeah, you're not kidding. Why don't you call me Wait, back when you got to work? It it. No, no, no. The whole reason I called you really was John. Get in here now and, put, and type in the membership <laughs> thing again. <laughs> Howard, John, you couldn't work this out with the guy ahead of time. This is what I'm talking about. Why didn't you talk to the guy ahead of time? I'm sorry, no, I, I'm sorry. I told him I wanted you to hook her up I, I with uh, her first lesbian now. experience. I, I don't care about that. <laughs> Are your wife gonna have sex now? Huh? Is your wife gonna have sex now? She could. Is she there now? Yeah, she's sitting right here. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Are you ready? Uh, no. <laughs> so who's going to have sex? What am uh, I going to be looking at? <laughs> My audience is going to want to see. Uh, should she go on the free cam then? Yeah. I don't know. What are you, what are you hassling don't me? John, why don't you work this out with the guy ahead of time? You see why you're, you're inept? Seriously, you don't even see it, do you? You're going to argue with me that you're competent. Here we go. Who's going to tell me? You tell me. Uh, again, he went back. He still didn't talk to the guy. Here we go. Mm. All right. That's your, that's your wife right there I'm looking at? Yeah. Yeah, Amanda. Yeah, I'm looking at her. Is she good looking? Yeah, she's not bad looking. Take a look, Robin. I can't see. You can see right there. Mm. Oh, it's all the way over there. Yeah, take a look at that. Broad's not bad looking. And what's she going to do? Tell her to do something. Okay. I can't uh, even see her boobies. Turn on the cam. This thing I'm sucks. Ready. 
No offense, dude. You got a lot of things to work, work out. To do. It ain't streaming at all. Oh, she's not even. She's not on. Well, right now. John, why would you? Okay, I gotta go, dude. You're giving me agita. Uh, I, this is not really what I called for, there, Howard. I don't care why you called, John. Come. My staff sucks. A guy, a guy's gonna yeah, I wasn't really talking to you. A guy, a guy, a guy, John, this is John what happens. Ran in and said, this is how red a retard John is. A guy called, his wife's gonna have s s sex on the internet, and we can all tune in. Now John will come in and tell me that's not what he said. It sounded like it was going on. So then I get in, and it's not even all set up. Do you understand? The guy told me his wife was, that he would get her up, okay? That's so why didn't you get her on there, test it then, out, make sure she's in front of the camera and ready to go? When I put the call up, it said that yeah. he wanted you to set him up with a girl. I understand that, but you came in and told me the guy... Is, am I... Am I uh, he told me... Am I crazy? Howard, Did you guys hear this, kid? Howard, he told me... Why do you always have a different story? Why do you and Gary always no, have no, no, different no, no, no. stories when he you come in here? He told me I'm the idiot, I guess. Howard, I'm stupid. Wait, wait a second. Who do you think is smarter, you or me? Howard. He told me that they would that that she, that she does she uh, pleasures herself when was she on the camera. When was she going to do it? He said that he would get her up. So why didn't you test why it out? She up already? Why uh, didn't I, you get it all set up for me? I click in and then she's pleasuring herself. Yeah, I, I How great would that have been? I, How much value would you have had to me if you could arrange I something like that? that? He would have have a. Have oh, you assume? So stop it! Stop I'm assuming. Sorry. He's not a radio guy. God, That's... just getting you to admit you don't know what you're doing is a chore. No, I, I, I didn't know you'd be interested at first, and when I came in here, twenty times I told you I'm interested. Then you had a half hour. No, and this guy's a retard, and so are you. No, get out! Get out of my studio, power. please, John. Get out of my studio. You're no, sicking me. Power. He's not. He didn't hang up. No, he, he'll he'll never hang up. Back. No, he's on there right now. Yeah, but he hung up. That's why. No, I you sicken me. Here. You sicken me. I look at you and I get sick. All right, now leave. All right. You sicken me. You're so lucky I'm not armed today. Oh. <laughs> get out. Please get out. Please leave. I'm asking you to leave now. Now I'm asking you to leave and you won't leave. Because then you're going to leave and you're going to I don't care. Hey, I'm hey, telling hey, you to leave. Hey, I'll hey, say hey, what hey, I want to say. Hey, Get out. Hey, you're incompetent. Hey, Go call your stockbroker. Hey, that you're good at. Give me six more hey, chances. That you seem to be able to follow through on. And, I, you know, and, I, and everyone, it's a big joke around here. And Gary's another one. He's got his thing. He's to excuses. This guy's got excuses. Everyone's got full of excuses. What am I going to get somebody who knows what they're doing? Am I right, sir? Right. <laughs> now, what we're are you up, up to? I know what we're doing. We're, we're up now, Art. All right, well, oh, forget it. It's over. Full. You blew we it. We tried. To, we uh, were there. You yeah. weren't ready. We're, we closed down now. I clicked out. Oh, really? Yeah, goodbye. Oh, it's refreshing. Yeah, goodbye. Too bad. It's refreshing. refreshing. <laughs> this is no, refreshing. It's not. All right. We spent an hour on the incompetence of oh, my staff. Sure. Once again. I apologize. I do. But wouldn't you go crazy, too? He came in here and said... There's yeah. a guy, guy who's ready, ready to, to bang his wife on the internet and right. go on and see. This is what he told me. I said, okay, that's good. What's Set it up. Side? Ready to bang his wife. Yeah. So the guy should have been in front of him. Then you heard camera. me. I said to him, I had him in here live on the air, and I said to John, I said, John, line it up. Learn how to work the mouse. He even gave line line it up. break. Yeah. I'm not Fred, a liar. Fred, no. is that no. what he no. said? That's what you, what you no. told us. Why were you, why were so you John, I don't want to get into an argument. The audience no, doesn't care. Said, this is what you said. No, I said this guy banged his wife been doing it. on the internet, Jackie. I said and this guy to do bangs it. his wife on, on the internet. I didn't say he's going to do it right now. You, you, that's what you said. John, if you come in and you set up a camera and you got a website going, what do you think we assume? The guy bangs his wife on the internet. What would we? I mean, we're supposed to figure out the nuance of what you say? It sounded like. I had 30 seconds. Command. All right, get out, John. Do it with the 30 because that's seconds said, again. Get 30 out. seconds. You had a half hour. Get Why out of here. Typing in a as soon as you, you yelled at me the first time and said that you weren't interested, he right. hung up. All right, good. All right, I'm wrong. It's my fault. Believe me. Uh, believe me, I know you it's my fault. You saw him hang up. Oh, thank you. All right, you goodbye. You goodbye. It's my fault. I, 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 you win. You win the argument. It's I can't compete matter, with your, your I mean, arguing skills. But, I mean, if Jackie's going to, like, you know, yeah, you're Jackie. It's Jackie. Story. Jackie's yeah, crazy. Jackie's a fat you. old man. I, goodbye. All right. Leave. Fred, you won the argument. Yeah, okay. You win the argument. Fred's got a headset. I don't think he heard exactly what was going on. Right. Because he was busy yelling 30 seconds. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I misunderstood you. Jackie misunderstood you. Fred misunderstood you. Gary misunderstands you. Can I just say one thing? No, I, I no, have, please, I would, please I don't. Don't engage we were, him. Okay. Please don't. Okay. It's a silly argument. Right. He's a moron. No, I just thought no, that the guy back. would have his wife on the All right, thank you. Okay. At least the second time around. Okay, good. All right, thank you. I have something to say, but I got to go get the password first. Yeah. yeah. All right, goodbye. <laughs> John, you're the idiot. Not you, him. No, <laughs> you are the idiot, not him. Of course, sir. Until like an hour from now. I'm off mic, but I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
So do you think that oh, 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 guy comes in? He tells me the guy on the web. Yes, you're all revved up. Yeah, revved. Okay, I'll go with it. Let's see if we can make something happen. And My it's audience. It's gonna happen right now. You get right on. He's gonna have sex with his. Oh, Where's the click oh, button? Oh, Great boy. way to start the show. A guy and a girl having sex. <laughs> right. Wow. Right. Well, whatever. Leave me alone. I don't it's have the. Still oh, not ready. This is the guy. I got feeding me information. Let's go to uh, Steve Langford from the Howard 100 News team. Let's go to John Hine, and let's, of course, get to Robin, which is very, very important. Well, let's go to Steve first in the Howard 100 News. Just some of the stories we're working on in the Howard 100 Newsroom. Is Riley Martin about to propel himself out of the serious orbit? Oh, I can't believe I didn't even get to speak about this today. What's this? Well, Riley's last show is tonight, I believe. No. This is where I think Riley's going to go blow up and, and scream about right. what a cheap fuck I am and, and Tim is a piece of shit and uh, <laughs> use the N-word. I think the meltdown's going to happen tonight. Uh-huh. It's uh, 7 o'clock. On on then I got to be there. It's on 101 at 7 o'clock. But, um, I may call in to stir the pot. <laughs> oh, please. It's going to be. We should all call in. Midnight Eastern. Midnight. Midnight? Midnight Eastern. What, uh, by the yeah, way, yeah, Jackie's joke hunt is. Why won't you give me a promo card? There's a promo card right in front of you. Yes, it's probably covered by all the other papers, but I put it. No, in. where is it? Show me. It's taped to your console. Oh, oh, down here, guys. Come on, I don't look. Put it in fifty fucking places. No, right up, right up on my oh, console bullshit. here. Right there, Here's the way. Come on. Where is the note? Wait a second. This isn't even the note. Show me where it is. Come here, <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Oh, 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 underneath two papers. You said put Get out of here. You said put it there. You're fired. Can I, can Unbelievable. I hold on, hold on. Everywhere else I've ever put it, everywhere else I've ever put it, you're like, Gary, just put it there. I'll fucking find it. I put it all over your console. Gary, Und don't cover the, the meters. Papers, don't cover the clock. Don't cover the other notes. Okay. And I said, well, where would you, you like it? Thank you. Thank you. You're Perfect explanation. Please. Yeah, okay. Sal's gonna get his ass That's my favorite Baba Boo song. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one too. This is a good one. Can you tell me to do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 It's so funny, while we play those, those songs, <laughs> Sal's out in the hall in various Gary masks and giant bobbleheads. You know what's so great? I know Sal's Achilles heel. He's jumping around, jumping around, having fun. And did you see the way he just walked away dejected? Yeah. I said, it's a good thing you have that fucking mask. None of your bits are funny. Then he, he just walks away all the <laughs> That deflates him. Uh, anyway, Steve, you were doing the news. Go ahead. The Riley Martin story. Negotiations between the king of outer space and Tim Sabian said to be stalled in the stratosphere. And Howard 100 News has the audio tape of negotiations between these two intergalactic warriors. What Stay you tuned. You have audio tape of Tim and uh, Absolutely. Riley? Absolutely, yes. How come Tim doesn't give that to yeah. me? Yeah. That's top priority. Oh, fucking they ha you have the actual negotiation? Yes. Wow. I, I gave it to you this morning. No, Where is everybody it? Everybody gives yeah, you Scott. everything. What? Scott has it. No one, no one shows it to me. I get. Gary, get in here. Hold on, hold on. What are you talking? This is the first I'm hearing about it now. Jason said he gave it to Scott this morning. But well, where is that fucking nincompoop Scott keeping material from me, that motherfucking bald asshole? <laughs> Why do I have him in my life? Scott, get out of my life. Um, Where is my tape? You scumbag. Yes, I'm a scumbag. You no, know, you, you know, I'm not laughing. You no, fuck. No, it's. 
Jason gave my take. Jason gave it to me and said, "Work on it when you get a chance. It's eight minutes, and I was, we want to cut it down." I said, "All right, I'll get to it." When you know. would you get he, to it? it well, he said it wasn't top priority. What if I was told? Jason, it, so now it's you, you fuck. He, if I was told that it was going to be needed right away, I'd no do it. No one right knows right. That, 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 that. What that, a deflection what? seminar! This so, is. So, so what are you doing? <laughs> Boom. Kid, Ed, you mean I got fifty guys back there? No one could sit and cut a piece. I, of I can give you the me. whole thing give right now. Give it to Sal and Richard, not Jesus. you, Scott. Why not? I, because I mean, Sal and Richard would have had it for me in five minutes. But I was told that. No. I didn't have to get it to you right that Jason, second. No. Is that what you told no. me? I got the well, at what time would I hear this? The Tomorrow second I got a, an, an email about this audio, I gave it to Scott. I go, here's where you get it. It's eight minutes long. Cut it up and let Tim listen to it before you give it to Howard. That's all I said. You guys are nuts. You, I mean, I, I'm I telling know. you, he said he came in. He said, I, "Work on it when you get a chance." What time did you what get chance? the audio? I got it this well, morning, like seven o'clock. It's no good tomorrow. Today. Yeah, Riley's <laughs> show comes on tonight. I understand that. I Why give, was I, I not on CC'd on this email? I'm there's sorry, so I, thought, many, I thought Scott knew it. There's so many motherfuckers working for me. But Would wasn't you? there a procedure? Doesn't all no. that stuff, isn't not it all Scott. supposed to go Jason, through Gary? I'll go through Gary. I forget, I'm sorry. I Why should, don't you contact Gary with this? I, I made a mistake. I should have told Why are I your people told not contacting you? Honestly, what is your fucking problem? Get your fucking guys in there and fire some of these motherfuckers if they don't talk to you. That'll teach them. You better get tough, motherfucker. <laughs> I mean it. I didn't even know what to say. A guy I tell you what, nobody respects me. you. A guy who is a hard worker tried to take the initiative, gave it to Scott, Scott Saturday. No, so the initiative now, is to give it to you. You're the producer. But okay, that's, that's, like, right. that's like on Saturday Night Live, they skip Lorne Michaels and they just approve a sketch without him. It right. don't happen. None of it can get on the air without you. You're, I'm I'm but, 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 you're I, keeping too many people around. You're, you're fucking me by, by, by not being tough. I'm fucking you. Wait, oh, you yeah. fucked me. You fucked me. And my uh, listeners, who pay money to hear this show. I'm sorry that you're fucked. Wow. Why don't your guys come to you when they have a piece of tape? What are you, know you busy answer, with? I will launch a fucking investigation. No, you and won't. You the fucking Warren Report. Yeah, it's real funny, Gary. Warren it's Report. It's not funny. It's like, you know, you're... You, I'm a what? What am I? You mean you I care see, about my you work? Your fucking oh, it's there. okay, Riley Martin. Who cares? Okay, that's what I'll say, Gary. That's just not like what you. Happened. How it's my fault. I should have told Gary. I guess right. got the Why audio. Why don't you tell Gary? I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't think of it. I got the, the the audio. I gave it to Scott. I thought it was being taken care of by Scott. I'm sorry no, for Scott not. Scott doesn't take care. Of You're anything. right. Scott You're right. Doesn't do it unless he's forced to do it. No, I'm not. I forced. apologize. Go to Gary. I'm sorry for Go to Gary. <laughs> Absolutely. And Gary will assign it to the person who can get it done quickest. Absolutely. Now, quick and. Scott, don't go in the same sentence. Oh, stop it. What? Stop it! I tell you, I can't take it around here anymore. I got 57 fucking guys. Oh, it's not fair of me to blame Scott. It's not his fault. No, it's supposed that there's an order out there. That's right. If, I, if Scott knew breached. he had to have it, he would have had it. Yeah. I apologize, Scott. But Jason, what's with you not going to Gary? Where's Scott? Come here. I have a, an apology. I'm out of my mind from this. I, you see, I, I hate this. No, I, I understand. Why you make my life miserable now? I'm so. I gave it to Just the guy. Go to Gary. That's what I got the fucker here for. Okay, I'll give everything to Gary. Think I, I got him here for his looks. <laughs> I gave Scott the audio at 7 a.m. this morning. I didn't know it was going to be a thing. But it's never going to come out of there if You're Scott right. doesn't know that. You're right. Scott didn't I'm know. sorry yeah. for trusting Scott. I'm sorry. I can't blame I'm sorry. Scott. Don't no. apologize Don't to me. Don't trust I mean, Scott. You know, no, I'm apologizing to you. you. This is not your fault. I mean, I even had it on my computer. I was just Understood. trying to get to it for, for the morning. I'm not mad at you. Don't. It's just. It should have been done. We're no, all no, to blame. No. We're all you to blame. are not to blame. I said you're not to blame. Okay, fine. Accept it. Thank you. Jason's got to go to Gary. He's right. I, I skipped the step. I apologize. Don't skip steps around I'm here. I'm sorry. I won't. Jesus. R Riley Martin negotiation tape, and Steve Langford has it. That's if I wasn't hot. standing here, you'd have it already. All right. So, thank you. All thank right. you for that. I mean, come on. We got good material. We die for material like that. We'll play it at noon. <laughs> I think you guys are dieting too much. Your brains are, uh, are, are getting cooked. What do you think of that, John Hine? I mean, really, what do you think of this? I think uh, isn't that a major piece of tape? Of Riley course, Martin Riley negotiating. Negotiating. I think Jason tried to get it done and bypassed Gary for whatever reason to do it, and it didn't happen. But I can see why he'd be so frustrated. I am frustrated. Am I be? Am I overreacting? I know I'm gonna get twenty email. You're a fucking scumbag. You yell at your staff. But what am I supposed to do? 
Robin, am I wrong? Well, unless, it, it, I, I, unfortunately, it seems that if every once in a while you don't do that, what happened here happens more often because they forget the order. You've set up this system so that things reach you in a timely fashion, and Scott knows the priority of tapes and other work he has to do. But if they're going to jump the gun and just go and give Scott tape, he doesn't know what to do with it. And the only way that seems to stay on track is there's a little tweaking session like this. And, you know, if Gary comes to me and says, I got tape of Riley Martin negotiating with Tim, I know the yeah, audience. Yeah, Gary go- can't come to you. He doesn't even know it's there. <clears throat> now, here it is 10 o'clock, and I'm hearing about it for the first fucking time. From Steve Langford. Steve Langford, I'm hearing from. Even he, you should be yelling at him. Why didn't he get tell you soon? Why didn't he promote he that He could earlier? promote the news all day. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> and that Gary boy, he sits back there. Gary thinks he has a working system. He, you know, he didn't... Uh, hey, Robin, every no. system you have never breaks down. No, I'm, I'm defending you. You're Gary, not understanding you what break, I'm saying. I'm it. defending you. You break you. down every day. Yesterday, it was the diet thing. You acted like it was the first time we ever did it. You know what? It's, again, I'm, I'm not going to... Got to get on your game. Get on your game. Get on your game, Gary. Get on your game. Your people are not communicating back there. You should be screaming like that. Oh my god. I'm watching Sal dancing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Robin, can I do the news? No, no, no. no. I, let me ask you something. Can that. you yell at the people out there like Howard yells? No, he can't. That's he, what he, the problem is. Will and Jason. I can't yell at the people like that if you don't have a microphone. Give me a microphone and I'll yell at them. Good. <laughs> yell at them, Dave. You got a microphone right now. You got a microphone, right microphone yeah. Let's hear it. <laughs> Listen, you fucking assholes. Don't fucking make me look like shit. Right. That sounded real good. <laughs> Sounds like you're real pissed. Yeah, you know what it is, though, too? It's my fault because, like, even with Gary, he, he, every day, you know, do what you want, laissez-faire, and everyone just takes advantage that, of my... I'm a nice guy. That's it's my it. problem. I am a nice guy. Hey, no. No, I am. I, unfortunately, I am, Gary. If you think I, that I, I, let me tell you wrong. something. If somebody was going past Lauren Michaels, it wouldn't be here. But you sure don't, no one's ever I, fucked I, up on Lauren Michaels show ever. Do I don't know. That makes one I tell you what, fired. nothing gets on the air except for Lauren Michaels knowing about it. I'm sure that everyone that makes any sort of mistake. Uh, is you fired. know what, Gary? I'm not going to argue with you. you. You're right. I'm wrong. What I'm do not I know? Saying that I'm right. You, I'm you, you saying did a great job. You Thank you. You must be perfect. Now, why don't you sit down with Jason and Will instead of talking to me and figure out how you guys? I will, but I don't want to interrupt the show, Howard, because then if I go talk to them, you'll be pissed. I'm not paying attention here. All right, thanks. Thanks. You'll, you'll always find something. All right, thanks, Gary. Sorry, well, please, I must. I must be wrong. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Yeah, go, go find the tape. All right, Steve, what, what other tapes do you have that I don't know about? Well, so if you don't hear that tape here in the next hour, stay tuned to Howard 100 News all day long as we you hear... You won't hear it in the next hour. At some point, i got to end this show. It's already 10 o'clock. Why am I sitting here all fucking day and do shows? Well, it's he's talking hours. about the news. You won't be here to hear it. Oh. Steve, don't start suggesting when we finish the show now. That's your fault. Now go ahead. <laughs> we will hear Riley Martin go at it with Tim Sabian. Riley reportedly seeking 20000 bucks a show, 10000 for his co-host. Oh, would I love to hear that. Oh. But that's, I mean, this is unreal to me. I'm going home. I can't take it. My head's going to explode. I fucking hate this. Early lunch. 57 people here. Oh, well, okay, we got to hire another person. How many people am I going to hire? Let's get a piece of goddamn tape on the air. <laughs> Remarkable. Yes. Is tonight the end of the Riley Martin Show, midnight Eastern, Howard 101. What, you got the tape now, Gary, so I can go to 3 or 4 o'clock? Uh, what do you think I am, robo-DJ? Uh, would you rather not have it? I know we didn't have it, so we got past that. You yelled at me for would that. I would I rather you, not have it? No, you because, ra- because you know I'm going to listen to it. I'm gonna do, I, I don't want to disappoint my audience. Of course i got to have it now, but I'll go to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. All right. Then yeah, all right. It's not ready. It's all right with you. Then it's not ready. Get the fuck out of here. 
the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> don't play games with me, pal. If you want it, it's there. If you don't want it, don't Good, want it. good. Well, then put it up so I can be here till 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's up. Maniac. It's up. Good. Bye. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, but, but I'm a dog. I'll see you all day. Do you want to know where the fuck it is or not? That's all I want to know. I, you already browbeat the shit out of me, so do you want to know where it is? I don't want to know anything from okay, you. Okay, then. then don't tell me anything. Just go meet with Jason and we'll figure out how you're going to get this shit on the air during my time slot. <laughs> I like he's angry at me for wanting to get things done right. I That's know, the reverse psychology. These guys going to yell at me because uh, I want it done right. Because I wanted it at 6 a.m., not at 10 p.m. You're yelling at me for giving it to you now. Where, no, where, I, that's not why I'm yelling at you, Gary. Where do you, where, what can I possibly do besides fucking do die? Do your job. Besides die, do what your job. I do? Do your job. Do right, your job. that, now what? I don't know. Exactly. If I don't know what you can do. How am I supposed to know? Don't yell at me, fuckface. You're the one who screwed it I'm up. I'm saying if you don't know what I'm supposed to do, I'm trying to give it to you now, and you're just no matter what I do, if That's I leave, right. you're going to yell it's at me. It's done. Thank you. Damage done. Am I asking too much? Am I, am I Robin? You're the voice of reason. It's a very simple thing, and and quite frankly... It's true. Nothing gets on the air without going through Gary. Yeah. They I mean, forget times? the system. It's like it's like like no one can retain, retain that information. Can't retain it. I'm going to write a big sign. Retain what? That I didn't know there was a piece retain of paper. No, that no, people your don't staff go is you. not following the rules. Oh, God, what do you want? How many times are we going to work on it? How many times before it, we, we 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 throw our hands up in the air and say you 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 can't run your staff? Thank you. There should be a big sign in there. Everything goes through Gary. That's it. Artie, am I crazy? Wake up. Uh, well, listen, uh, obviously there's people in the back who don't operate at the same intellect level that we do. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Here is the tape now, boss. It's 11 past 10 o'clock. I'll do what anything. What if you start doing it now? I'll do anything to get out of here by a quarter. Huh? You could be here till 5 p.m. Do a show all day, and we'll get to everything. Realize, of course, that you spent more time bitching about it than actually Don't playing. tell me what I'm doing wrong now. Worry about what you're doing wrong. I'll figure out my fucking situation. Now, uh, for people who were... We were talking about this a couple of weeks ago. This is what the Thursday meeting used to be like for two hours. Mm. It's not true. I wouldn't talk this much at all. <laughs> Did I overreact? Yeah. Am I overreacting? I mean, I don't know. You see, I, this show matters to me so much. A tape like that, to me, sounds funny. And there's an ebb and flow to this show. I plan it out in the sense that I go, okay, I've got five cool things here to do. And within the four hours, and then usually the last hour, we, you know, Robin wraps things up. So I'd like to, at some reasonable time, say, hey, look what I got, make a big deal about it. You, you in other words, I know in the grand scheme of life, it's not important to people. But this is, I take this show seriously, and I've got 50 guys back there. But it won't nearly be as pertinent if Riley's gone after tonight. Yeah, yeah tonight, and then I could have promoted his show. Yeah. I mean, it's a big deal that we have that tape. And Tim does his job, gets the tape, gives it to Jason, and then it's almost like, well, what else am I missing, too? Like, can I trust these guys? Like, we have mail come in every day, and they're supposed to go through it and look for CDs that listeners sent in and stuff. And I, and I, I, I tremble at the thought of what is missed because I take this job so seriously. That's why I'm successful at it. Oh, it's, and when people don't have the same intensity as me, it panics me. It this absolutely is exactly panics what meetings me. were like. This was exactly I'm glad. So, so my meetings are useless, is what you're saying, because nothing's changed. Oh, Tell me what I should say to you, Gary. Everybody. What should I... Like, like, like Richard was just saying, like you sit and you think about whether the mail's been gone through, and it is going, being gone through every day, yet you ignore the mail, you know, stuff from the mail page. But it's fine. It's there for you when you want it. It's not, no, I but need it's it when I need it. We know it's there. But what isn't there is what bothers me. I wonder what else am I missing? Like, when would I have learned about the Riley Martin phone call? Two days from now? Maybe never. Maybe it would have gotten buried in that sea of work that Scott has back there. Who knows, Gary? Who knows? I, I, I have an issue on that, too. I think you're letting Scott... I, I think that Jason absolutely should have brought it to me, no doubt. I think you're letting Scott off the hook a little bit. Well, good. Why don't I just sea, alienate everyone? No, I don't think there's a sea of work. I think there's a lot of work that we've... 
the, 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 away from him. The work and, is supposed and also to go. A lot of times when, when part oh, of the, how do I get part, out of my head? I can't for, turn off his mic. I don't the, know how to do it. Part of the safety net for the system is when somebody gives staff to something, net. he'll call me and he'll say, All right. Gary, what's the priority? Here's the safety net. Here's the safety net. Take the safety net and stick it around me and lock me up at a funny farm. Like a butterfly net. If that's what the safety net looks like, take it and put me in there and throw me in a mental institution. Thank you. Safety net. Just bring all this shit to Gary, and Gary knows about it, and he tells me. Such a simple system. I don't know. How much, how much more... E how easy can it be? Because of all of these kinds of things, that's why the, it, the system of bring everything to Gary was created. Yeah. Unreal. I'm exhausted. I'm drained. I'm drained. I rely on Gary to run this. I see he's typing on his computer. Who knows what he's typing? He's like, I, I I'm trying to book a fucking guess. I must remember. <laughs> You're not going to start that. You should get a big chalkboard. Take this up to the chalk. <laughs> right, and right. What is he typing? I wonder. Dear, dear Tommy Shaw. <laughs> if you must know. Typing away. It, why don't we just uh, take another minute? This is the part where you talk about what a fucking moron I am. That I, I didn't say you're a moron. That I never learned how to type. I'm watching you peck away there. <laughs> dear Tommy. P -O, where's the M? <laughs> Pecking away one. Get, take a typing lesson. With that one finger. One finger. <laughs> Get that one finger. It's the same finger he smells when he's in talking to me. Hmm. That finger's very busy. It's typing. <laughs> oh, it's so it's, busy. <laughs> it's smelling. Picking. <laughs> Look at Sal. <laughs> Sal's typing. His monkey costume. Uh... Pecking away one finger at a time. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I... It's like if you found out your accountant misplaced 20 grand, then you'd say, well, gee, I wonder what else he misplaced. You know oh, what I mean? No, this is more like the IRS comes knocking at your door. Mm -hmm. And they say, you know, Mr. Stern, we are charging you with tax fraud because you didn't pay. Right. And then you find out your accountant forgot. Yeah, right. Well, it's his fault. His <laughs> <laughs> fault is it. <laughs> I mean, I'm drained. I'm drained. And when he says he's, you're letting Scott off the hook, that means he doesn't want to yell at Scott. Right. Oh, you no, can I have yell no problem. At I, I believe me, I have no problem with that, Robin. Uh, okay. I it's no not problem. Scott's fault. Well, then yell fault. at Scott. It's not but Scott's fault. But if Gary fault. has an issue there, then he should take care of it. He shouldn't give it back to you. Yeah, oh, no. He wants me to go yell at Scott now. I'm not looking, I'm not looking for you to yell said. at Scott. Uh, you right. know what? I'm not going to fuck this. Good. <laughs> That's the best thing you said today. <laughs> Somehow it's my fault. I was in good shape today. Did the best I could. Can we do the Riley Martin tape in the news? That could be news. All right, whatever. I'll, I'll, you're you're um, in charge of that. I will uh, work around it. All right. So tonight is Riley Martin's quote-unquote last show, uh, unless there has been a change in the negotiations, <laughs> oh, Howard. great, yeah. I think that we may have a tape of no. some of the goings on. I don't have it. You don't? No. I hope you're you happy. Don't have it, but I have to tell you where it is if you want. Tell to. Robin. Don't tell me. Robin. Oh. Yes. Oh. Robin, this is what you need to know. It's on Gary preview page, bottom right hand corner of pink. And what I listened to the first four minutes of it, and it was so good, and I wanted to get in so quickly. Get that fucking thing off me. And then I didn't. Uh, I didn't listen to the last four minutes, but I, I wanted to get in it quickly, and I assumed that it was going to continue to be good. All it right. Was so good. <laughs> Fuck. On the uh, Gary preview page two in the lower. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Preview page one. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I was quick as a whip. <laughs> Hey, I wanted to pick up where we left off, and if we could uh, kind of continue the conversation about uh, going forward uh, with you doing the show. And I know that you're at five million, and I'm at three hundred, so there's a bit of a gap in. Yeah, well, hey Tim, come on, man, let's don't uh, get into uh, uh, the juxtaposition of jousting with one another. Start giving me a reasonable number frame. Based upon 
<laughs> uh, my uh, uh, import to you. And, 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 and we can deal. Please don't carry me through this again. Okay. Well. <laughs> Look, it's, not, wow. it's no skin off your people's nose to do something decent. The max I can afford is $400 a show. Oh, max. Bullshit. That's bullshit. It. I'm telling you, that's max I can do. Bullshit. Well, then it's Oh, uh, you give up. Uh, okay. Stern, who is my hero. Mine, too. Makes $18,000 a minute. <laughs> uh, so How do you know that? I can uh, calculate things in my fucking head, fool. <laughs> Be so kind. I have to take $400 and roll it, you know, like up in a, like, you know, you do a money roll and stick it in your ass. Raleigh, do you realize that that's $6.66 a minute? That's uh, a Motherfucker, I can't even live in Jersey at $400 a week. I am not just a man. I am a phenomenon. <laughs> uh, a cornucopia, a dictionary, a time, space, knowledge, uh, and uh, revelation to the extent as to where uh, the truck driver as well as the physicist can understand what I'm saying. Now, if you don't want to pay me, son, and let me die poor, then get uh, get that girl uh, that uh, uh, fucks horses or something to do your next show. So you're saying then that you don't want to do the show anymore? I'm not going to do the show for Trump change, no. Okay. Well, we're going to miss you, Riley. I'm going to miss you, too. All right, so if you have a change of heart, please feel no, free. No, I have no change of heart for no four fucking hundred dollars. Forget that. That's dead. Okay. If you have a change of heart, you fucking, you call me. Okay. Tonight or tomorrow night is your last show, son. Okay. All right? I'll look forward to it, Riley. Okay, take care. All right. See you Bye. Too. Bye. Riley's got a good idea. If that girl that fucks horses is available, yeah, give her she 20 can have grand an hour. Show. I'll give her 20 grand to show. <laughs> Remember that tape, the chicken fucks horses? <laughs> haven't played that in a while. I know. He remembers that. Yep. She's got an act. Well, we'll tune in tonight at midnight, Riley's uh, final show, so he says. I don't believe it. I believe Riley will be back. Um, usually Riley needs a cooling off period. Right. He's that kind of negotiator. Well, what are the odds of uh, Riley coming back? Artie, will Riley be back? Yes. I'll give it. Mm, I'll give it eight to five. All right, Fred. Seventy percent chance says he'll be back. Seventy percent. Seventy percent. I would put it. I up think to he'll it. take a hiatus of maybe three weeks. I would put it up to eighty-five. Ooh. I'd put it up to ninety, and three weeks sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. But what, I could be wrong. Once nobody starts, you know, coming up for those uh, yeah, stickers or whatever he designs anymore. Well, the whole point is, if he can take it somewhere else for more money, he should. Hello, CNN. <laughs> <laughs> We give Scott something. Thought he'd do it. I thought he'd saw, think, no, it was an awesome piece of tape to work on. But uh, he needs he needs Gary to kick him in the ass. That's all. So I should have gone to Gary. I should have let Gary know about it much earlier. I didn't think about it. And, you know, now I'm getting fucked for it. Jason Kaplan seems to think that you're at fault and that you should have known that this should be done in a timely manner. Well, I know is he came in here and he said, here, you get the audio. Here's the phone call. I said, when do you need it? He said... Just listen to it, you know. Cut it down, and when you get when you get some time, then we'll I'll listen to it, and we'll we'll see what we got. But he he conveyed no sense of urgency, Scott. No, no, no. Not to, if he would have. If he was said we want it for today's show, or, you know, it'd be good for Howard to get it. I I would have done. I started working on it, and then I got interrupted um, by other things, and then I was getting back to it, you know, when we had just when Howard had just called for it. There is no trust left here. Everything will go through Gary. So from now on, that's it? I, I, everything's going through Gary. At the very least, if something goes wrong, then I will yell at Gary and not me. If, if for that reason only, I will put everything through Gary. Listen, it all leads to me. I, I run the show, so absolutely you can't start blaming underlings for shit. Well, Jason's stance seemed to be that Scott needs to have a sense of urgency. He needs to understand that something he with Riley... He does and he doesn't. I, w I, I wish that Scott would have said to me, sometimes he gets stuff, and what he would do in the past would call me and say, hey, I got all this stuff, prioritize it for me. But 
we're supposed to give it to him and prioritize it for him first. Okay. Throwing out, you know, the parameters of what people's jobs are. Right. Yeah, Scott probably should have looked at that and go, wow, this is pretty important. But I don't know what else Scott had on, on his plate. I don't know what else he was doing. Maybe he had something that was more important. And then, but I wish he would have said to me, "Hey, Gary, Jason gave me this." Generally, he would say to me, "Hey, Gary, gave, Jason gave me this uh, this uh, Tim Riley call," and I would be like, "Oh, let me come in and listen to it." But he didn't, and then it falls right on your lap. Right. And then the entire, you know, Howard's hammering on you. It, it turns into a whole, you know, I need to start cracking the whip. This laissez-faire attitude doesn't work. Yeah, I mean, that's that's, a, that's the part off. that bums me out because I, it's not a lazy fair attitude. And then he went into that whole rap about how he doesn't know what else isn't getting done out here. And he's not out here. He doesn't see the operation. So when one thing goes wrong to suggest that the whole operation is a shit operation, it bumps us out because it's not. So we do an unscripted, unrehearsed show. And considering that, I think we do a very good job. All of us. Howard, Robin, and the guys in the back office. Speaking of the guys in the back office, when all this is going down... Sal, as always, is just ready to hammer on you. He's ready to, to just kick you when you're down. At this point, is there? are you just so used to it that it doesn't phase you? Or is there still that little part of you that's like, fuck you, man? You know what? He's struggling because uh, he's been writing bits and Howard hasn't been playing him and he hasn't been that funny. He hasn't really written a funny bit since December. So he's got to fall back on what made him famous. You know, I guess it's like, you know... When, uh, when a one-hit wonder has to play that same stupid fucking song over and over again, that's what Sal does. So God bless him. At least he's got a hit song. I don't know what Vault's problem is. I went out, I told Scott to get that audio together, and he didn't do it. And Vault feels at me. What am I supposed to do? It's not like I'm a producer of a show for 20 years. I don't know what to do. I'm just a dumb stupid monkey running around talking about Hall and Oates and John Mellencamp and doing stupid rap book shows. And I talk too much too. So I don't know what Fawcett's problem is. I gotta go back to typing now. Take care. Goodbye. Dear Mary, please have my bananas ready. For me, when I get home, I say goodbye. I got work to do. All right, let me, uh, Robin. Thank you very much, uh, everybody. Thank you. I'm sorry I had a meltdown on the air. I, I, I take the show very. I apologize to Gary, Will, and Jason for my outrageous behavior. I think it was justified. Oh, well, in that case. He takes his be- apology no, back. I don't, I don't like to make things personal. But I do. When I have my meltdowns, I can't control them. I'm like uh, Phil Ramone. I'm like Phil Ramone without the gun. <laughs> <laughs> I think more like Naomi Campbell. I'm more like Naomi Campbell. I just couldn't find my diamond-studded <laughs> cell phone. <clears throat> I just care about the show. So please don't send me emails saying what a skunk I am. Too late. <clears throat> Too oh, late. It's already started. Yeah. It's already oh, coming yeah, in. What yeah, it says? You know, it's, they're they're basically. Read me it. I mean, there's there's some that are like complimentary and on your side, and then there's <laughs> others that are not. Okay, here's a preview. Oh no. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of me. <laughs> Howard, you've been such a happy, contented, funny guy since coming over to Sirius, but since you got engaged, you turned back. Okay. Uh, I am under some stress. Starting to sound like a bitter old man. <laughs> uh, Howard is totally wrong. Mistakes happen. It's okay. He doesn't have to blame Gary and yell at him for every little thing that doesn't go right. He's right. He's right. Gary he's does right. a great job, and Howard should kiss his feet every day. All right. Howard, lay the fuck off of Gary. He has covered your seagull ass more times than you know. It's your okay. fucking problem if your people don't know what to do with good tape. <laughs> Yeah, that, thinking, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, well. He's having a Wah, I have to stay late. Wah, shut the fuck up. I so you have late. to stay extra to listen no, to we Riley's built tape the, negotiation We could have built the whole show This is the email. It. It's not me. I feel it's you. <laughs> Dude, you're only on the air four days a week. A little overtime All once right. in a while okay. won't hurt He's you. missing the point. There's a flow to the show. You know? Howard, the last few days seems like he's been on the rag or something. This must be what it's like after you get engaged. Poor guy. He's feeling the pressure. Ha, 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 ha. Well, let me just say, you know, you really need to apologize oh. to more than anybody will. Why will? Because Will got pulled into this whole thing. He didn't even do anything. I'm sure Will and has nothing to do will with goes, it. Will goes, how the hell did I get stuck well, in I feel your... like Will and Jason are Siamese <laughs> twins. Because <laughs> Jason talks to Will. Right. And used to live fine. with him. Right. Will, you, I apologize to you for sucking you into this. You had nothing to do with it. Jason, <laughs> Gary, I am over the top, clearly. I have reactions that are just like as if you murdered me, as if you put a knife in my heart. 
We all care about the show. We do. Well, I know can you I, do. I, can I just Jason, do you know that? I don't want you going on more antidepressants, you fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll, uh, he's is, no, I'm, I'm trying still, to lose weight. They haven't raised my uh, dosage. No, I haven't. I'm gonna go I understand your wrist. anger, and I apologize, too, for messing up. Right, and look, there we'll was a mess forward. up, but my reaction was over the can, top. Can I, just get, I apologize. Can I just get 10 seconds? Yeah. The only thing... The I, as a favor to the audience, I will edit that out of the show, my chance. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that bothers me is that we do work really hard and we do care about you the do. show. And, and when a mistake like this happens, it's not indicative of how... Like, you don't see the office run, so you think that that's how the office runs all the time. And no, it and I, I don't know how to express my disappointment. You. But I promise you it's not how right. the office runs. All right. Thank all right. you. Thank you. All right. There we go. See you, Guardy. Look, there's an ebb and a flow, and it was disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for understanding. I'm with you, man. If I knew how to email, they'd all be on your side. Thank you. I know Robin likes when I crack the whip. I just got. Oh, stop it. I get uncomfortable, too. <laughs> you even shut up during it. <laughs> My biggest question right now is. Uh, you guys I... just let me go. Oh. Well, I think it turns Robin gonna... on. She goes, oh, he's so powerful. <laughs> By the way, the meltdown will be on Howard TV tomorrow night. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Was I wearing my shades during it? Thank you. Well, unless it, it I, I, unfortunately, it seems that if every once in a while you don't do that, what happened here happens more often because they forget the order. You've set up this system so that things reach you in a timely fashion, and Scott knows the priority of tapes and other work he has to do. But if they're going to jump the gun and just go and give Scott tape, he doesn't know what to do with it. And the only way that seems to stay on track is there's a little tweaking session like this. And, you know, if Gary comes to me and says, I got tape of Riley Martin negotiating with Tim, I know the yeah, audience Yeah, Gary go can't to come to you. He doesn't even know it's there. <clears throat> now, here it is, 10 o'clock, and I'm hearing about it for the first fucking time. From Steve Langford. Steve Langford, I'm hearing from. Even he, you should be yelling at him. Why didn't he get tell you soon? Why didn't he promote he that He could earlier? promote the news all day. God damn. <laughs> and that Gary boy, he sits back there. Gary thinks he has a working system. He, you know, he didn't. Uh, hey, Robin, every no. system you have never breaks down. No, I'm, I'm defending you. You're Gary, not understanding you what break, I'm saying. I'm it. defending you. You break you. down every day. Yesterday it was the diet thing. You acted like it was the first time we ever did it. You know what? It's again. I'm, I'm not gonna. Gotta get on your game. Get on your game. Get on your game, Gary. Get on your game. Your people are not communicating back there. You should be screaming like that. Oh my god. I'm watching Sal dancing. I'm out of breath. Can I do the news? No, no, no. no. Uh, let me ask you something. Can you yell at the people out there like Howard yells? No, he can't. That's he, what he the said, problem is. Will and Jason, I can't yell can. at the people like that if you don't have a microphone. Give me a microphone and I'll yell. <laughs> Good. Yell at them, Dave. You got a microphone right now. You got a right microphone, now. yeah. Let's hear it. <laughs> Listen, you fucking assholes. Don't fucking make me look like shit. Well, well, Scott not... doesn't take care of You're anything. right. Scott You're right. Scott doesn't do it unless he's forced to do it. No, I'm not forced. I apologize. I'm sorry for Go to Gary. <laughs> Absolutely. And Gary will assign it to the person who can get it done quickest. Absolutely. Now, when Quick and Scott don't go in the same sentence. Oh, stop it. What? Stop it! I tell you, I can't take it around here anymore. I got 57 fucking guys. Oh, it's not fair of me to blame Scott. It's not his fault. No, it's supposed that there's an order out there. That's right. If, I, if Scott knew breached. he had to have it, he would have had it. Yeah. I apologize, Scott. But Jason, what's with you not going to Gary? Where's Scott? Come here. I have a, an apology. I'm out of my mind from this. I, but see, I, I hate this. No, I, I understand. Why are you making my life miserable now? I'm so, I gave it to Just the guy. Just go to Gary. That's what I got the fucker here for. Okay, I'll give everything to Gary. Think I, I got him here for his looks? 
<laughs> Game's got the audio at 7 a.m. this morning. I didn't know it was going to be a thing. But it's never going to come out of there if You're Scott right. doesn't know that. You're right. Scott didn't I'm know. sorry for trusting Scott. I'm sorry. I can't blame I'm sorry. Scott. Don't no. apologize. Don't to me. trust I mean, Scott. You know, no, I'm apologizing to you. This is not your fault. I mean, I even had it on my computer. I was just Understood. trying to get to it for, for the morning. I'm not mad at you. Don't. It's just. It should have been done. We're no, all no, to blame. No. We're all you to blame. are not to blame. I said you're not to blame. Okay, fine. Accept it. Thank you. Jason's got to go to Gary. He's right. I, I skipped a step. I apologize. Don't skip steps around I'm here. I'm sorry. I won't. Jesus. R Riley Martin negotiation tape, and Steve Langford has it. That's if I wasn't hot. standing here, you'd have it already. All right. So, thank you. All thank right. you for that. I mean, come on. We got good material. We die for material like that. We'll play it at noon. I think you guys are dieting too much. Your brains are, uh, are, are getting cooked. What do you think of that, John Hine? I mean, really, what do you think of this? I think uh, isn't that a major piece of tape? Of Riley course, Martin Riley negotiating. Tim negotiating. I think Jason tried to get it done and bypassed Gary for whatever reason to do it, and it didn't happen. But I can see why he'd be so frustrated. I am frustrated. Am I be? Am I overreacting? I know I'm gonna get 20 email. You're a fucking scumbag. You yell at your staff. But what am I supposed to do, Robert? Am I wrong? <laughs> 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 I like this one too. This is a good one. Can you know do that? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 it's so funny while we play those, those songs <laughs> Sal's out in the hall in various Gary masks and giant bobbleheads <laughs> you know it's so great I know Sal's Achilles heel he's jumping around jumping around having fun and did you see the way he just walked away dejected yeah. I said it's a good thing you have that fucking mask none of your bits are funny then he, <laughs> he just walks away all around. <laughs> that deflates him uh, anyway, Steve, you were doing the news. Go ahead. The Riley Martin story. Negotiations between the king of outer space and Tim Sabian said to be stalled in the stratosphere. And Howard 100 News has the audio tape of negotiations between these two intergalactic warriors. What Stay you tuned. You have audio tape of Tim and uh, Absolutely. Riley? Absolutely, yes. How come Tim doesn't give that to yeah. me? That's top priority. They ha you have the actual negotiation? Yes. Wow. I, I gave it to you this morning. No, Where is everybody it? Everybody gives yeah, you Scott. everything. What? Scott has it. No one, no one shows oh. it to me. I get. Gary, get in here. Hold on. Hold on. What are you talking? This is the first I'm hearing about it now. Jason said he gave it to Scott this morning. But Scott where is that fucking nincompoop Scott keeping material from me, that motherfucking bald asshole? <laughs> Why do I have him in my life? Scott, get out of my life. Um. Where is my tape? You they, scumbag! Yes, I'm a scumbag. No, you, you know I'm not laughing. You no, fuck. No, it's Jason Where gave is my tape. Jason gave it to me and said, "Work on it when you get a chance. Oh. It's eight minutes, and I was, we want to cut it down." I said, "All right, I'll get to it." When you know. would you get he, to it? it well, he said it wasn't top priority. What if I was told? Jason, that it, so now it's you, you fuck. He, if I was told that it was going to be you needed right away, I'd no do it. No one right. knows that. that, 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 that what that, a deflection that, seminar! What? This so, is. So what are you doing? <laughs> I'm not Boom. Saying. Kid, Ed, you mean I got fifty guys back there? No one could sit and cut a piece. I could give you the whole thing right now. Give it to Sal and Richard, not you, Scott. Why not? I, because I mean, Sal and Richard would have had it for me in five minutes. But I was, I was told that no. I didn't have to get it to you right that Jason, second. No. is that what you told no. me? No. I got the what, what time would I hear this? The Tomorrow second I later. got a, an, an email about this audio, I gave it to Scott. I go, here's where you get it. It's eight minutes long. Cut it up and let Tim listen to it before you give it to Howard. That's all I said. You guys are nuts. You, I mean, I, I'm I telling know. you, he said he came in. He I, said, "Work on it when you get a chance." What time did you what get chance? the audio? I got it this well, morning, like seven o'clock. But it's no good tomorrow. Today! Yeah, Riley's show comes on tonight. I understand that. I Why give, was I, I not up on CC'd this on this email? I'm there's sorry, so I, thought, many, I thought Scott knew it. There's so many motherfuckers working for me. But Would wasn't you? there a procedure? Doesn't all no. that stuff, isn't it all Scott. supposed to go Jason, through Gary? I'll go through Gary. I forget, I'm sorry. I why don't you contact Gary with this? I, I made a mistake. I Gary, told, why are I your people told not contacting you? Honestly, what is your fucking problem? Get your fucking guys in there and fire some of these motherfuckers if they don't talk to you. 
That'll teach him. You better get tough, motherfucker. <laughs> I mean it. I didn't even know what to say. A guy but I tell you what, nobody respects me. you. A guy who is a hard worker tried to take the initiative, gave it to Scott, Scott Saturday. No, the so initiative is to give it to you. You're the producer. But okay, that's, that's, like, right. that's like on Saturday Night Live, they skip Lorne Michaels and they just approve a sketch without him. It right. don't happen. None of it can get on the air without you. You're, I'm I'm but, but I, I, you're keeping too many people around. You're, you're fucking me by, by, by not being tough. I'm fucking you by... Oh, you yeah. fucked me. You <laughs> fucked me. And my listeners, who pay money to hear this show. I'm sorry that you're fucked. Wow. Why don't your guys come to you when they have a piece of tape? What are Literally you busy with? I will launch a fucking investigation. No, you won't. I'll you with the fucking Warren Report. Yeah, it's real funny, Gary. Warren it's Report. It's not funny. It's like, you know, you're... You, I'm a what? What am I? You mean you I care see, about my you work? Sit on your fucking phone oh, it's there. okay, Riley Martin. Who cares? Okay, that's what I'll say, Gary. That's just not like what you. How, it's my fault. I should have told Gary. I gave right. Scott the Why audio. Why don't you tell Gary? I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't think of it. I got the, the the audio. I gave it to Scott. I thought it was being taken care of by Scott. I'm sorry. Let's go to uh, Steve Langford from the Howard 100 News team. Let's go to John Hine, and let's of course get to Robin, which is very very important. Let's go to Steve first in the Howard 100 News. Just some of the stories we're working on in the Howard 100 Newsroom. Is Riley Martin about to propel himself out of the serious orbit? Oh, I can't believe I didn't even get to speak about this today. What's this? Well, Riley's last show is tonight, I believe. No. This is where I think Riley's going to go blow up and, and scream about right. what a cheap fuck I am and, and Tim is a piece of shit and uh, <laughs> use the N-word. I think the meltdown's going to happen tonight. Uh-huh. It's uh, 7 o'clock. On on then I got to be there. It's on 101 <laughs> at 7 o'clock, but... Um, I may call in to stir the pot. <laughs> oh, please. It's going to be... We should all call in. Midnight Eastern. Midnight. Midnight? Midnight Eastern. What? Uh, by the yeah, way... Yeah, Jackie's joke hunt is Why won't you give me a promo o'clock. card? There's a promo card right in front of you. Yes. It's probably covered by all the other papers, but I put it... No. In. Where is it? Show me. It's taped to your console. Oh, oh, down here. Guys, come on. I don't look... Oh, it. Put it in 50 fucking places. No, right up, right up on my oh, console. Oh, bullshit. Here. Right there, Here's the way. Come on! Where is the note? Wait a second. This isn't even the note. Show me where it is. Come here. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> where is it? Where is it? Oh, oh, oh underneath two papers. You said Get out of here. You said put it there. You're fired. Can I, can Unbelievable. I hold on, hold on. Everywhere else I've ever put it, everywhere else I've ever put it, you're like, Gary, just put it there. I'll fucking find it. I put it all over your console. Gary, Und don't cover the, the meters. Papers, don't cover the clock. Don't cover the other notes. And I said, well, where would you, you like it? Thank you. Thank you. You're Perfect explanation. Please. Yeah, okay. Sal's going to get his ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite Baba Boo.